What it good be, hopefully what it should be. This is your boy N-O-R-E. What up, it's DJ EFN. And this is Drink Chess Motherfucking Happy Hour. Make, Make some noise! And right now, when it comes to DJs, when it comes to producers, when it comes to hit makers, when it comes to all around hustlers, I think I seen them in the Geico commercial the other day. <laughs> the man got endorsements with everybody. From Weight Watchers to whoever. The man is the ultimate, 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 ultimate hustler. Super motivational speaker. Sometimes when I'm having a bad day, I just go on his Instagram just to feel better. Because he tell you, you are the best. Mm. He doesn't play about this. He's serious about his business. Has one of the best house I've ever seen in my life. He got a part of his crib that's outside, inside. But it's outside, <laughs> inside. I don't know if you understand. That's how crazy it is. And in case you don't know what I'm talking about, the, the number one DJ in the world, one of the number one hit makers in the world, one of the number one hustlers in the world, constantly doing his thing, motherfucking DJ Khaled! Now, I, now, I gotta take my yeah, mask yeah, yeah, off. Yeah, so listen. Now, that was, that, yes. man, that intro was, nah, it's from was the heart. super legendary. I appreciate it's that. From, it's from the, but it's, Colin, let me, let me get right into it, right? Let me just get right into it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to cut you off. Because I, I, let me pop that. Let me pop. Let me pop. This, this is what type of occasion it is when you come out. You know, you don't pop regular Ace. You pop the Rose Ace. Oh, yeah. You understand what oh, I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, I yeah. made the call and, uh, and hove. I believe Elaine sent these two bottles of Rose, but uh, I, had to get, I had to make it complete and have a case. You know, you got to have six bottles of Ace. But let me just ask you call it right um um you you had a viral moment the other other uh, uh a couple of weeks right you was going live a fan love right oh yeah yeah and yeah then, yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. Shit. yeah and then, which one and then, <laughs> and then home girl just start start mm. twerking and for all, on behalf of all married men in yeah, the world yeah. i was very proud of you at that moment yeah no nah, i appreciate that i mean mm. you know that moment was um it's just a real reaction. You mm. know what I'm saying? Uh, so it wasn't because your wife was next nah, to you? Well, she, was, she just walked right by me. <laughs> okay, okay, cool, so if you cool, see cool. me like, she just walked right <laughs> by me. And the thing is that I got, I have no problem with nobody twerking. It's, it's, yeah. it's their business. Whatever right. anybody want to do, God right. bless them. Because right. you know I love everybody. And it's right. like, but you know, on my, on my platform, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? I just ask not to do that. Mm -hmm. um, and the reason why I was telling her to talk to me normal is because yeah. at the end of the day, it's, you know, I got a lot of people that support me mm. and, you know, I also want her to be able to get her message across without, you know, right. the happiness. So yeah, the extra happens. stuff. Um, mm. It's crazy because I ended up going live again a, like a week later. Don't tell she, me she came back. She popped back up. Get out of here. But she came back on. I'm here talking. You know I got nothing but love for you. Right. I respect that. Right. This right. and that and that. And she was telling me how she's an entrepreneur, mm. you know, that she has her own... Um, I think she sells, like, I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, I think bathing suits and, you know, just different stuff. So I was mm -hmm. like, man, that's beautiful, man. Let's talk about that. It's on your live? On my live, okay, on my live. Yeah. You know right. what I'm saying? So, you know, that was just a real reaction, you know what I'm saying? Um, at the end of the day, is you know what I'm saying, even if I was looking at it, I'm not doing nothing wrong, but I was right. just like, yo, like, what? You know, my, my, my son in the jacuzzi. It was jacuzzi. an awkward situation. Yeah, I felt, right. but it was just a real, I only know how to be me. Right. You, you know what I'm saying? You know so what's I, crazy? I, that's just me. One night I'm out with my wife, right? But it's not here. It's, Cheers, um, y'all. Uh, yes, salute. Bless you. What's, what's the other thing? Brick house. Brick house. So I'm at Brick house, and a girl comes up to me, and I, I guess she wanted to say hi. So we were saying hi, but the only thing she did, she just looked and was like, she just turned around and, and just starts twerking, and we all just walked <laughs> the fuck away. We just all like, come on. She doesn't yeah, know yeah. that we were right. here with our wives. But it's crazy when you can see people that that's the only way they know how to communicate. They they know how to get your attention is just uh, you know yeah. shaking their ass. And you know my girl's super cool. You know what I'm mm. saying? My girl, she's my she, girl. she my best friend. You know what I'm saying? Y'all um, been together forever. For, like, yeah, over 13 years, and she's right. um. My best friend. Right. You know what I'm saying? She's just my best uh, friend. She don't never trip about nothing like that. Right. You know what I'm saying? She's a but I just I, anybody know my girl, she she a real one. So I'm like, yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want no problems. You know what I'm saying? Now, I was wondering if she you know, was I always, want, I always want love. Like, I, nah, that I, I, was I, a I put, super legit reaction you know right there. <laughs> hey, nah, that was dope. That was dope. That was dope. So moving on. I'm have a little shower. Let's take it, let's take it from the beginning. Yeah. Because a lot of people, a lot of people just think that you just started 
and you just you just became this guy. A lot of people don't understand the grind from the beginning. Well, and a lot of people. What, I mean, I understand it because right. I've seen it. Right. Well, you know, I'm talking about <laughs> I'm talking about the generics, right? No. The the world. So how how did you actually? Because I, I believe it's Louisiana. Then you moved to Atlanta, though. So, and then, I, so I was raised in Florida. Mm-hmm. I was born uh-huh. in New Orleans, but I was uh-huh. raised in Florida. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, while I was living in Florida, I went back to New Orleans um, mm-hmm. again because. My finances wasn't right. I had to get back on my feet. And my mother and father lived in Florida at one time, but they went back. Uh-huh. You know, everything got taken away from them. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Um, basically, like, shit got real. You know what I'm oh, saying? Wow. And um, it was happening to me when I was, like, uh, 15. And, um, you know, God blessed me. and he let me see um, the blessings, and then he let uh-huh. me see how quick it can be taken away. Mm-hmm. You know, at a young age. So mm-hmm. that's what... You know, when you see a lot of me and a lot of my talk, that's just me, you know, my experiences of real life. So Mm. I lived in Miami for over about 27 years, I would say. Mm. 25, 27, something like that. Um, So I've been raised in Florida, you know what I'm saying? I lived in Orlando for a few years, Mm. too, Mm. but Miami was my home, my heart, and it's been over 27 years. When you live in a city more than 20 years, you know, that's your, like... Right. You're damn near born. No, you right. made your chops here. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? This is this is my home. This is what I represent. This is what I scream. And I had love for right. everywhere. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. But, you know, just to answer your question, mm. you know what I mean? I became mm. DJ Khaled, mm. you know what I'm saying, right here right. in Miami. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, you know, me and him used to rock at Club Cream. Right. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, Fifth in Washington. Club Cream? Damn, I don't know. Cream was like one of the first original hip hop guys. I, I wasn't here. even there. And, and you know what I love about y'all relationship is because he repped you so hard. I still do. <laughs> right, right. But I repped you so right, hard. Right, right. No, no, I'm talking uh, about looking. on another level. Right, you know what right, I'm saying? Right, right, and he would bring you right. to do shows in Miami. This when you had the what, what, what? Right, like, right, you know, right, it's right, the right, biggest right, artist. Right, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. And EFN would bring him, mm-hmm. bring you down. Mm-hmm. And, um, I just love how y'all are partners and right. and how the friendship right. remains. Well, we can make some I, noise to that. I right? love that. I love that. But let's take it from there. So where, where, where did you start out first? Was it DJing or was it... Okay. Um, so DJ, I started DJing um, mm-hmm. at an early age. I would say probably about 13, 14. Mm-hmm. In New Orleans or in Orlando? Oh, uh, no, no. In Orlando. Okay. And then mm-hmm. I came to Miami. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. you know... Um, Started DJing early, you know what I'm saying? And um, as soon as I started DJing, I immediately got into production. Mm. So, you know, back in them days, you know, I was called the Beat Nova King. Mm-hmm. Right. So it was DJ Cabot, Beat Nova King. Right. Um, and, you know, nobody knew me. You know what I'm right. saying? Like, this is me just living my dreams. This is you actually pressing the buttons. This yeah, is you. Okay. MPC 60, you know what I'm saying? Uh, drum machine, uh, little, you know, Casio keyboard, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, with, and then a lot of vinyl record, obviously, we sampled right. a lot at that time. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So I was, I was more of a. Um, MPC and a lot of turntable sampling. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, and that's how the music was mm. putting it out at that time. Yeah. Mm. Um, so production and DJing was kind of like together. Mm. But obviously, you know, DJing broke the door down for me. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Um, so you were producing from the get? Not like, the get, but like two years. Mix 96 Days? Yeah, Mix 96 You're Days, for producing. sure. Okay. For sure, for sure, Mix 96 Days. So uh. I started DJing and... Um, you know, when I came to Miami, I ended up doing underground radio. He brought up uh, okay. Mix 96. I call it community radio, but they call it underground <laughs> right, radio. Right, right, you know what I'm right. saying? Right. Um, right. So I would, when I used to do Mix 96, it was crazy, man, because um, shout out to Butterfuco, Daddy mm-hmm. Saw, and right. everybody was at Mix 96. And um, I remember coming in there with like 25 crates. And I'm like, yo, I want to I wanna rock. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And they're like... You know, I, I was so persistent and consistent, and they finally let me on, and it was a late night show, and I was, you know, I ripped it down, and everybody was calling up, like, who's this guy, who's this guy? Right. His voice, is, is the way he played music, right. you know, they show mm-hmm. love, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And um, I ended up rocking so much that the calls from the city, from the streets, would just keep coming in, coming in, coming mm-hmm. in, but at the same time is, I only had like a one hour show, Mm. What happened was, you know what, How Can I Be Down was out here? Oh, yes, I do. So How Can I Be Down was in Miami. All the DJs wanted to go to the convention. Mm. I wanted to be on the radio. Mm. So I stayed on the radio. Everybody left their show. So now mm. I'm doing the afternoon show, the morning right. show, the yeah. night show. Right. I slept in the 
the apartment. Yeah, it was an apartment. And it's not 99 Jam. No, 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 it's not 99. No, no, no. You, you know, that I was radio. at a station. The, the, the floor under you was 94.7. Yeah. That was at that station. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Literally, our wait balconies. Up, wait up, wait up. Hold on, tell them. Yeah, we were like on. rival oh. underground so stations. So, y- y'all's radio stations was houses? Yeah, these are, this is, that's the way I, underground radio I mean, was. Okay. Secret locations, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, okay. you know, it's... The receiver somewhere yeah, else. You know what? That makes sense. Because I was stretching Barbados shit was in an apartment yeah. in New York. But, so, but you got to remember, yeah. Miami didn't have... Com- the commercial radio wasn't really... No, I'm talking about stretching Barbados. No, no, I know, I know, I know, but I'm saying that's why. We okay. was playing the hip-hop yeah. here. Wow. You know what I'm saying? I, and wow. I, that's why I love being on the show today, because wow. he was playing it too. Wow. And I was playing it. And um, right. so now I'm on the radio, everybody hearing me. Mm-hmm. The whole city of Miami embracing me. Mm. But also when people came from out of town, because everybody come to Miami. Yes. Yeah. You know what I'm yes. saying? Especially yes. at that time, Memorial yes. Day weekend. Yes. How can I be down? Yes. Everybody coming. So all the artists end up coming, you know, calling up like, yo, Cal, what up? I right. see you doing your thing, boy. You coming right. up? And, you know, I'm like just ripping it mm. down, right? Mm. And then um, Fat Joe would come to my show. Mm. Big Pun would come to my show. Mm. Cameron would come to my show. Mm. KR Swan would come on my show and rap for like two hours straight, mm. not one break. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Like, why wow. Clep would come on my show? Right. You know, every artist would come on my show. Um, and, you know, that's when they came in town. But the city of Miami, you know what I'm saying, mm. rep me so hard and I rep the city of Miami so hard. Mm. You know, it was every day you heard Calvin on the radio. Right. Like, you you know, that's just part of, of a day in a life in Miami. Right. You get in your car, you're in your crib, you're going to hear DJ Khaled. Right. It's a seven days a week. Yeah. Right. Seven days a week. <laughs> right. Not one day right. off. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. so, right. um, so, you know, th- and then it, it, it got bigger than, than Uncle Luke called me. Yep. Shout out mm-hmm. to Luke. Um, mm-hmm. Luke called me like, yo, I want you to do my new show on 99 Jams. It's the big station. Mm. So he gave me the opportunity. Which is equivalent to like All Hot 97, correct? Right, right, right. right. So I ended up doing, co-hosting with him and DJing Mm. on the Luke show on Friday night. And I still kept my underground radio. Mm. I was just hustling. I'm making $100 a week. Right. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. I'm hustling. This is what people need to know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is crazy. Everywhere I go, Driving, um, I used to yeah, jump on remember, We're using vinyl at well, that Hold on, hold on. Listen, by the way, you got to explain to these young jump, boys jump in, what uh, a crate is, though, Colin. 25 crates of record crates. Yes, they don't understand. And jumping on a tri-rail. Yeah. Ooh, that's the train? And yeah. getting to the, you know, like back in the days, it was in Biscayne View. I'll say it now, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? It was, it was, yeah, we'll get raided back then. Yeah, so... <laughs> You know, eventually, you know. By the way, I have no idea what you guys are talking about, but I love it. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? So, Lou yeah. called me up and let me be um, a DJ on a show mm-hmm. and a co host. And that show, right. Nori, it was right. so big. Right. Not just big in Miami, mm. big in the world. Right. Yeah. So, he gave me that opportunity, and, I, and, and I'm very grateful for that opportunity right. because um, not only did it get super big, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? It was so big that it had to come off the air. Oh, wow. Because it was just too big. When something's, just too, when something's that big, it just got to cut. So, you know, Luke was touring, yeah. and um, we did the show for, you know, for years, and and when he left radio, I end up, they ended up keeping me to doing the Friday night show. Mm. So I was grateful for him to give me that opportunity. Mm. So I started working at 99 Jams, mm. and from 99 Jams on Friday night show, I went to having a Friday night show to a, a 5 o'clock mix mm. in the afternoon, and... Mm. Um, sometimes do the night show mix mm. at nine o'clock, but then eventually, make a long story short, they gave me my own show. Right. You know what I'm saying? I right. end up doing the night show, like how Flex would have a night show. Right. So I'm breaking records now. Like I'm mm. breaking records. Mm. I'm breaking every record. I'm breaking records in Miami. I'm breaking mm. records out. I'm, I, whatever great music, I would break it. I was passionate. Right. I would. I, I damn near. I got fired and suspended so many times right. for breaking records. <laughs> right, right, right. I played Rick Ross record hustling right, right. for like an hour straight. Right, right. The program and, director at that time it, called up like, "Yo, is that something? You, I'm sorry, is that something you got from Funkmaster Flex?" I'm definitely inspired by Funk right, Flex yeah, with yeah. breaking records, bringing it back. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. I don't know if you remember, you broke that Garcia record for us. Yes. Right. I think it was the first time you actually did it that big, and then right. Rick yeah, I Ross, broke so did many. That. Yeah. I, I broke, you know, the, <laughs> nah, but the way you did no, it, I hadn't right. heard you do that. Yeah, right. it's, I did. That was the first time yeah. I heard you do that. I got suspended. Right. <laughs> I came back on. I did the same thing. Got suspended again. Mm. They threatened to fire me. I was like, listen, you're mm. going to have to fire me mm. because I know what this is. Right. And I know what this is going to do for the city. Right. I was right. playing Ross, Trick, Trina, right. Pitbull. Yeah. Mm. You know, the list go on. It's too right. many records to name. Right. But, um, 
It was the reason I'm bringing up hustling because that's a moment that nobody can forget. Yeah, yeah. I, I remember that. You know what I'm saying? I remember that. And everything I did on the radio, I did in the club. Mm. I did in the club and played for. Yo, I used to rock the club pre V when BMF used to come in the club. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And you know, it'd be a hundred, at least 500 of them. Mm. You know what I'm saying? They always showed me love and they'd come rocking. Matter of fact, I was probably um, I met Jeezy. Mm. I know Jeezy as. Just being a street dude. Wow. Then they say, yo, play this record, and end up being Jeezy. Wow. And the place is erupted. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So, like, it's so many special moments at Preve and, yeah, and my birthday parties at Temple. Rick, Rick, Rick Ross um, um, squashing that. We're getting to that. Hold on, just stop rush the Temple. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You had a lot to do with Rick Ross and Jeezy squashing their beef, right? Yeah, well, you know, Ross, my brother, that's family. Right. And Jeezy, my brother, you know what I'm saying? And, right. um, you, know, you know, Ross' home team. And um, whatever the situation was, me personally, I knew it wasn't nothing. It was, it's, it's, it got to be miscommunication. Whatever, you know, um, caused the energy, but it was, it, it, it was my duty as a friend right. to every day bring up, yo, to sit down. Right. It might have took a few years, mm. but I always brought it up to sit down. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And um, we finally sat down with me, Ross, Jeezy, and Hip Hop. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And um, I, talk, I talked to Jeezy so many times, and I think Ross ended up bumping into Jeezy one time, and, you know, and just, you know, I could feel like the energy was getting closer where, you know, right. we could sit down. You know oh. what I'm saying? It was at the BET Awards, I thought that they had yeah, ran into I mean, each it, other. I, and, yeah. I was there at the BET Awards, yeah. too, you know what I'm saying? You know, it was always a, um, I guess what they say, like a tension, you know what I'm saying? But right. I know it wasn't nothing for them to be beefing, mm. you know what I'm saying? Because beef Real is, talk. that's a big word, right. you know what I'm saying? Right. And at the end of the day, as a friend, as a brother, and for hip hop, I felt like, you know, Cowboys are known for unity and love, that's right. you know what I'm saying? So both of them felt comfortable talking about any situation with me, you know what I'm mm. saying? So we eventually sat Respect. down, and it's crazy, we sat down, it was beautiful, it was in the studio, mm. and um, we made two records, wow. you know wow. what I'm saying? Wow. One for, um, you know, he cut one with Ross, right. and Ross cut one with him. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, for both albums. Right. You know what I mean? It was just incredible, man, just to see them brothers come back together. And the only thing I wish, man, I wish, it, you know, they never had that situation because I would have loved to hear them two make an album together. Not yeah. saying right. it it's too late. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I'm saying like, as many tours they missed together because yeah, right. those two were so powerful. Yeah, I You know what I'm saying? So that. shout out to Rick Ross, my brother. You know how a and a lot of Rick Ross albums, like, mm -hmm. when you, you know, a lot of people don't, you know, like you said, you see my success now, mm -hmm. but they don't realize Calvin's not just a DJ and a producer, but also a music executive. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And somebody that played the background, you know, I was blessed to a and records with Ross and Pooch and, you know what I mean, just classic albums like Teflon Dawn and Deeper Than Rap. Right. You know, there's many more. You know what I'm saying? Right. I was blessed. I was I was president of Def Jam South. My right. office was yeah. in Miami, and L.A. Reid put me in position you know, New York and Miami back and forth. Ooh. So I was blessed with all this, you know, energy and responsibility. Mm. At the same time, I was shaping up my career. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So everything was like each key lead to the next key. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's it. You know, because the keys never run out. So I was just like, to be able to make and sit in the studio with Rick Ross and watch him cut these classic albums and records and you know what I mean and to be a, a a and on the credit um, even executive produce one of them with them you know what I mean I want to thank Ross That's for believing in me That's and I want to thank L.A. Reid for believing in me That's you know what I mean and giving me that opportunity because they can never take that away from me because these shits are classics mm -hmm. and Ross every at Ross jumped on every single record I ever asked him to jump on mm -hmm. he's on every single album I ever put out right that's just one of my great relationships. You right. know what I'm saying? I, you know, right. when we brought his name up, I want to make sure that yeah. I give him his flowers because yeah. he's a legend. And we're going to go back to Ross. Nah, we're going to go, I'm go sorry, back to a lot of things. We're going to go back to a lot of things. No, 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 you're not. No, you're not. We need you, man. We waited four years for this, goddammit. Make some fucking noise! We are open. We are open. So, something that went over my head just now was, you know, when we interview people, we always go through their music. We didn't have to do that with you because we know your music, right? Yeah. But we was going through your music anyway. But mm -hmm. someone on, on someone pulled up, my, my, my boy Diego pulled up on an Instagram, and it's something that blew over my head. I had liked the picture, but I didn't know what I was liking. Mm -hmm. And I seen it was an OVO, it was an owl, not an OVO. Yeah. It was an owl with the key in his mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm not gonna lie, I liked the picture, yeah, but yeah. I didn't know what I was liking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And my boy said, that's. Great copy. Yeah, 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 yeah. On the next well, well, I, single. I, I am working on a new album. Um, 
you know, speaking of albums and catalog, you know what I'm saying? Mm. I have 11 albums out. God damn, make some noise for that. God 11 damn. motherfucking make albums out. Make some noise for that. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> noise um, and I'm working on the 12th album. And um, yeah, I've been, you know, it's Al and Key, and, and I can't even, you know, this, 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 this drink chance. This drink chance. Yeah, man. I can't even. I can't even do the what? subliminal yeah, like, yeah, halfway yeah. shit. Yeah, I yeah, can't do yeah, it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Drake is definitely <laughs> on um, DJ Khaled's single. God damn, sure. make some noise! I'm gonna take a shot for that. And the vocals sound so yeah. incredible. You, you know what it is. I mean, the frequency of that motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Just the sonics, the way that shit sound. It's just, it's incredible. You know what I'm saying? Like. Um, that's that's my brother, man. That's like family to me. You know, Drake. You know what I mean? He always supported me. You know, think about the records we made, like for free. I'm on one. I'm, I'm, just those I, two I wanna alone. Go, I, I want to go. Let me just tell you, I'm on one. I need to ask the question, yeah. right? Because to me, it feels like when you said that's my brother, it feels like he feels that way about you. Too. Oh, Oh, one hundred percent. Right. And what I'm saying is, when I listen to I'm on one. He, I felt like if he was at a, a place in his career where he was doing what he wanted to do when he wanted to do it. He's still doing that. I, I know, but, but, but yeah, you know what I'm like, saying. But that, that's what like I love he about first him. First got there, yeah. so he could have been like, so was that something y'all made at the studio, or so, that's something he sent you? So I was on tour with Wayne, um, and Ross was on that tour too, mm. and. Um, me and Drake would go in the studio. I would uh, A&R records for Ross, like Aston Martin. Mm. Um, I was there. I, I was I was there. I was there when he um, when he recorded some of that. You know, mm. you know, Ross sent it to him, but I ended up being in the studio seeing some of the creation. Mm. And um, of course, um, you know, working on my projects, and we always talk about doing something. Mm. And he blessed me. He blessed me. He blessed me with a verse and the hook. Well, I'm on one. Yeah, I'm on one. So he blessed me. Like mm. he. He loved me. He want me to win. So he's like, yo, Khaled, check this out. And I'm like... And who beat was that? Um, T-minus did that one. Okay. So I'm like, what the fuck? Right. I said, yo, let me finish this. Right. Let me go, let me, you know, because I'm big on collaborations, uh -huh. big in the right. unity, you know what I'm saying? Right. And I said, let me finish this. I'm going to go get Wayne, and I'm going to go get Ross. And I'm on tour with Wayne and Ross, you know what I'm right. saying? So I'm like... Um, we gonna get this shit done. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. so I get the shit done, um, and you know, he blessed me, man. Like, and from every step of the way, from mixing the record, um, you know, we, you know, I was a part of it, and I sent my guy Lou Diaz to uh, Canada. Diaz brothers, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? And we was on the FaceTime. I remember when he when he sent me the verse. I was um, in Atlanta, and this is the first time y'all worked together. I'm on one. I'm on one. Okay. No, it's not. Fed okay. up. We did like eight bars. Um, mm. uh, this, this before he like blue blue. Okay. Mm. You know what I'm saying? This is like okay. when he was mixtape. Right. You know what I'm saying? And um, I'm on one, right. one of my biggest records ever. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And um, I was in the club and he texted me like, yo, I'm gonna send you something. So I run to the hotel, I leave the club. Right. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I don't give a fuck, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. He sent you it on he your text? He texted me like, yo, oh, oh, oh. I said, yo, I'm in a club, I gotta get the fuck out of the club. Well, you right, right. I got, yeah, I got, I'm on tour, I'm in a different city. I, I'm running to the hotel. I went and bought champagne. Matter of fact, it's on, it's, I filmed it. You know what I'm saying? I bought champagne. And, and back in them days, you, the, the FaceTime was the laptop. Yeah, I forgot yeah, how we. Yeah. How we and it's like he, Skype or something. So he's like, yo, hit me at Skype. Yeah. He's like, yo, hit me after you hear it. So I'm uh -huh. Skyping him. I'm like, yo, this shit call, I'm on one. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? So I'm wilding out. I'm like, oh shit, we made it. You know what I'm saying? We got one. Mm -hmm. And um, he loved me so much that he blesses me. Wow. You know what I'm saying? When you work with Drake, anybody that works with Drake. Right. And I know a lot of artists, you know, when you interview and they ever work with Drake, right. you know, nine out of ten. Mm. Drake is going to say, here's the record. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, wow. and let me tell you, when you work with Drake, that's what you want. Yeah, exactly. Because you me, want him in his, listen, his own. I am not yeah. only a like, DJ, like, like, a producer, yeah. I am an AR. Mm. I am a music exec. Mm. A real music man oh. never, mm -hmm. ever Question. denies fucking hits. Yeah. Quite, yeah. You don't never do that. Mm -hmm. you, that's what a real exec music man is. And you know what they say that about a lot of people. A lot of people when they say uh, like Kanye, you'll send Kanye a record. He'll send you back a totally he'll send different. You else. Yeah. So he's picking the production when he's yeah. giving it to I'm, you. Yeah, sometimes and sometimes yeah. we go in the studio and play vibes. It's just mm. 
It's, a, it's, it's called a relationship. You're trusting him. Yeah, and it's called an energy. Right. You know, because you still, you still got to, you know, finish the record, and right. we still got to talk about how we're going to do this. It's a lot of work behind the shit. Mm. But at the end of the day is, um, he loved me so much that he blesses me. He don't wow. just... Say this is a feature. Right, right. He treat this like this is his this record. Is, this is this is the, fam. the video. Right. We the best over yo. This family. Right. You know what I mean? And right. this is this is something that we're gonna do and they're gonna talk about this forever. Right. You know what I mean? And um, you know, you see me in Canada, uh, on that we the best jet. Yeah, no, I respect that. You know what I'm saying? Back and forth. Mm. We we working. Right. I'm not fucking modeling. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm, Especially if you're on the best like, like, right. I, I, I'm flying in fucking Toronto. Right. My son. Can I tell you about right. this new record? Yeah, yes, please talk about this new record. It's time. My son. Uh-huh. My son, Alarm, right. is five months old. The day he was born. Mm. He was born like 11 o'clock or something like that. Seven in the morning, I was on a jet to Toronto. Wow. I kissed my queen and my son. I said, yo. I got to go. Daddy got to work. Mm, wow. I got kids. Jump on a jet to Toronto. Drake, I'm in town. I go to the embassy. His house is called the embassy. <laughs> okay. okay? Talk that shit. And uh-huh. we've been talking about working together. We right. go in the studio. Me and him, we catch a vibe, an energy. We play basketball. We kicking it. You know, we walk in the studio. Um, cloth talk going on. Right. You know what I'm saying? The energy can't say everything. You know what I'm saying? It's family right. and... We talk about making music. Right. That's one session. That's right. what I'm trying to tell you. This is part of creating. Right. That's one session. It's true. I leave. I have to go do All Star now. Right. Do reminder. My right. son Alarm just got born. Right. Daddy crazy. gotta go work. Right. I go to All Star. Right. Perform an All Star. After I rip down All Star, I'm eating at this Italian restaurant. Italian restaurant. This also was in Chicago, right? Freezing. Um, I'm right. sitting down eating calamari. I get a FaceTime. It's my brother Drake. He said, yo, what you doing tomorrow? Mm. Without him, without, let me tell you how I answered him. I'm gonna be in Toronto at the embassy. Mm. I'm on my way. I don't question what Six Guy calls me. I get to Toronto. You know, so, uh, uh, Sota Sota is the restaurant. Uh, I've been, I ate in that restaurant. He's like, Calvin. Yeah. Is that his restaurant? Uh, I ate there with Ludacris. I'm, sh- I'm sure he owned a pizza. It's incredible. So yeah. it's closed. Okay. He said, Cal, go have something to eat, then come by the embassy. Uh. The shit closed. He called the chef, the <laughs> owner, everything, whoever run it. Uh-huh. They open it up for Cal. I go uh-huh. in there. They treat me like a king. I'm eating pasta, gaining five pounds. <laughs> um, um, calamari, <laughs> fish that look like from Italy. Right. You know what I mean? Motherfucking champagne coming yeah. out. Right. They tell me they want you to sit in the Drake suite. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I got... I mean, watch, I, I documented it on the right. Instagram. I'm just, right. I ain't saying nothing. I'm right. just giving you the experience. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? I land, I remember landing in Toronto. The driver, he started talking about Canada and, and Toronto. So I said, I, I said, yo, he's like, um, he asked me a question. I was in the back. He goes, Cali, how, um, how do you spell Toronto? I'm like, D-R-A-K-E. <laughs> like, like, let's not get this confused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I believe that's how you smell Canada. So I go to the crib. Yeah. Yeah. So I go to the crib. I, I fucking over your 40 too. That's yeah, my boy. That's, that's, and 40 is incredible. 40 is my boy. So I go to the crib. This is the second session. Mm. So the second session, he's like, yo, come on, I want you to hear something. Mm. So I hear it. I'm losing my mind. This is the record that's coming yes. out right now. We talking about when it comes, it's coming. Do okay. I know when it's coming? I don't. Do we know the name of it? I do, but I can't say it because okay, okay. the reason why because we you coming know, out next my, week. I want to give everything you know. a presentation, mm-hmm. and um and my fans deserve it, and right. I love my fans. They know how right. we get down with Khaled and Drake get together. It's always a presentation, and um so we listen in the record and we coming up with ideas and shit like that. Mm. What you know, you know talking. Talking video, we talking a bunch of shit, and like, I left there very happy. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I, it, it's, it's special because my son was born, mm. went straight to Toronto mm. to create another historic moment. Mm. You know what I mean? And you know, it's coming. You know what I'm saying? And I'm working on my new album. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But right now, I'm focused on that. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know, but that's my brother. He loved me. 
You know what I'm saying? He loved me. He loved me. Big up the Drake, goddamn. Drake. Big up the Drake, goddamn. Matter of fact, this is this is um, I call this Drake. This the spritz and shit he be drinking. I be saying he drink wine with with with, um like. I call it Drake. Okay, what is it? What is in there? Uh, I don't even know. Uh, (laughs) He told my chef. He told my chef. He texted my chef the ingredients. I see him drinking that on the gram all the time. It's incredible. Yeah, yeah. It's incredible. I thought it was Santa Margarita with uh soda and um. It's unbelievable. Yeah, unbelievable. (laughs) But we listen, Kylie. We don't. We don't know if you know. Our show is about celebrating people's accomplishments. Celebrating hip hop, celebrating, you know, in, in this day and time, so many people want to wash people off because you got 10 years in this game or whatever. You've been in this game forever. You kicking ass, you monkey footing, doing what the fuck you got to do. And we want to tell you face to face, eye to eye, how much we love you. Thank you. How man. much we home team. That's the reason why. The thing is, this is Miami. We, I'm born and raised in New York on a clip, 1 million percent. I might not never be a Miami guy, but I lived in Miami for the no, past no, you've been 14 here for so years. Many years. Yes, we yes. love you. But I'm a New York guy. But when this this was born and raised, Drink Champs has, has been birthed in Miami. So that's why it was so important for us to have you yep. here because. And, and I said, you, 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 he yes. offended Miami. Yeah, yeah, you know but always, you were Miami before, state boys. Before well. you moved here, we always looked at you yes. as repping Miami because yes. you came here so much, showing us so yes. much love. Yes. Yeah. Yes. You know what I mean? We love you, man. So, so we, 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 hold on, you can't flip it on me. It's more about you right now. Oh, nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you've been trying to flip it on me because you're a good guy. But listen, we can't do it today. Today is about you. Thank you. Today is about you. And we wanted to let you know we proud of you, brother. Thank you, Like, man. we seen you from the beginning, hustling, doing whatever you had to do, and Trust me, where you at now and the accomplishments you made, me and the brother, for, I know I can speak for him as well, and he can speak for on his own, but we proud of you, bro. Thank you, we man. want you to continue to do what you got to do and make some motherfucking noise for Kyle, bro. <laughs> but now we're going to go, we gonna go, we gonna go deeper. This is Drink Champs, okay? Let's do it, let's do it. Oh, let's shit, do Joey it. Cracks FaceTime me. Holy moly mm-hmm. guacamole. I'm not answering right uh, now, FaceTime. <laughs> <laughs> I'll hit you back. Hey, you, you wanted to go eat? Now I wanted to go back to the temple. You brought up the, yeah, temple. the temple. We got to go back. To me, that's like a big... That that that, that marks a whole era in Miami, the temple. Yeah, so... Okay, yeah. hold on. Let me, Because I'm me being an outsider. Yeah. The temple is your birthday party. Well, my birthday yeah. party every oh, year. Okay. It's two-part questions. Because you you said the temple, right? Yeah. But why did you call it the temple? Um, Man, you know, I was... You know, Karis One is one of my uh, biggest... You know, he's definitely one of my favorite MCs. Mm. Um, but, like, I am, you know, I'm Arabic. You know what right. I'm saying? I'm Palestinian. Right. Um, and just I love, I feel like the temple, we come party inside the temple. And, like, the temple mm. of hip-hop is yeah, why you're saying also, like, Karis oh. And then Karis One yeah. um, would say the temple of hip-hop. That. Like, he said it in a bunch of records, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Right. And, um... And actually, I didn't. I don't, I don't think I got it from him saying it, right. but it was just a connection. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And 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 it was it just connected. And um, he would, you know, I remember he would uh, freestyle at my show and say at the temple and this and that. Wow. So um, it's definitely inspired. But I wanted to, you know, I'm Arabic, right. so I just felt like the temple was some super dope. And um, it was my birthday party, and we do it every year. And in Miami, knows it's one of the biggest parties in Miami. Um, mm-hmm. And I made it not about me. I made it about mm-hmm. hip-hop, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying, where I, my goal was to try to bring every DJ and every artist together. It was a festival. It was, like a, it festival. was a festival. It was before a festival. festival. It was, yeah, it was, it was a, a festival. I brought, it, was, yeah. it started off with, like, me, Tony Touch, yeah. OC, wow. me, uh, had South Bronx and Big Bay. OC. Uh, yeah, South yeah. Bronx and Bay South Beach. Me, wow. Fat Joe, and Pun. You know, wow. then I had some with me, you know, Wu Tang, uh, Wyclef, Cannabis. Then wow. it got to like DMX Everybody and Puff Daddy yeah. wow. and then a the TI. You know, whatever wow. era, wow. as a kid, wow. whatever era was popping, I had the, the, the major lineup. Right. Like the major lineup. Right. And, um, <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no you can mark history by like Miami hip hop history and say, oh. Remember this year temple? This is this year of the temple? This yeah, year no, of the temple? Le- no, no, I might even say because it's legendary. No, it's, mm. it's true. And legendary and Buster Rhymes. And what year you started it? I came, I, I, I'm i trying to think when like I came. Like 96? It had to be, not, I, I think I came to Miami 92, 93. No, earlier than that. No, I think it was, I think 95, 96 for Big sure. Big pun. When, 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 before pun, no. before pun. So it was 96. Well, pun, no. pun, pun is not 96. No, yeah. before puns. No, before pun is pun, not before, before is what he's saying. This before. Big pun, before big pun. Oh, okay, okay. I, I, I thought you said, pun, you said big pun. You gotta big say big pun, pun before big pun. He recorded twins. 
I know. Nah, and that wasn't even the it's first about one. Big Punisher. Okay, how's <laughs> this? When was um, OC? Yeah, that's time. Wait, wait, wait. Ninety three. Ninety two. Ninety two. It had to be like ninety two. Googling it. Ninety two, ninety three. It, okay. it got to be in that okay. that thing. Okay. I came into Miami in the nineties. Right. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Um, right. And it was just, it, but it came from here to here to here, and it ended up being like, it was guaranteed sold out. If, if the club would be sold out, and it'd be like ten thousand people outside. Mm. That shit made gave me the biggest high. All right. Knowing that we're ram packed, right. and there's ten thousand outside. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Not being real, like no, this yeah. is the truth. Oh. And. Besides the performances, the city of Miami came out so legendary. I'm talking about every barbershop, every clothes uh, store. Would, Shout know, out to Roll Up, who yeah, used Roll to be a Up, part of that's it. That's what I'm saying, Roll Up. Roll Up. You know, I used to pass out, ask EFL, I pass out all my own nah, flyers. Nah, I see him in the streets passing the party, out his own flyers. Besides the party being so big, my marketing was so incredible because I'm passing out all the flyers. Yourself, yeah. I'm riding a I've bike with a yeah. banner. Mm. I'm rapping tour buses. I'm on every right. mic, hijacking every club. You know, right. yo, come to the party. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm, you know, and don't forget, my DJing style is, is, wasn't regular. Right. You know, like, no, no, I'm being real. Right, I'm right. one of the DJs like, oh, right. shit, he's here. Right. right. He about to come fuck the place up. Mm. And he not coming like... To mm. just to play music, he coming mm. like to make fucking history. When I walk out that motherfucker, they say, right. "Who's that?" You gotta remember, I came before they had Instagram and tweets and <laughs> and, and all that shit. <laughs> right, they right, say, right, "Who right. is that guy?" Right, My right. name. They right. were saying it in the streets. Right. Cabra broke in the, the mud. Right. Right. You know what I mean? That shit spread it everywhere. Right. You know what I mean? From Jamaica to Brooklyn to motherfucking Carroll that's, City, that's Liberty what I'm about City. To ask you. How did you fall in love with reggae? Because a lot of your style feels like... Uh, well, uh, most uh, DJs uh, uh, in Florida, period, South Florida specifically, oh, they're yeah? going to be well-versed in reggae and hip-hop. Yeah, well, Miami's a Caribbean place, but, but, but I, was, I was from a baby around Rasta and, uh, like, um, you know, Buja Bantam, my brother, you uh, know what I mean, Bounty Killer. He just Sizzler. dropped the album, right? Yeah, he just dropped the album out right now. Go yes. get that. Yeah, go get um, that. So the, the, the dance hall culture was is as much as I love the hip hop culture, mm. is how much I love the dance hall culture. Yeah. And if you listen to like my last album at Holy Mountain, you know, these are real And you was even in Shotas. Yeah, Shotas. I was like in Shotas. I watched it the other day. I and said, Jesus. Speaking of my you know how long Shotas was done? Like that was like twenty years ago? Long and but it was, it came out probably twenty years, but it was done oh. probably twenty seven years ago. Oh. Yeah, that's real. That's, I'm just trying to never came. That's it finally real. came out. I'm trying wow. and that and that movie was my man Seth Severa. He used to stay with me, and we was brothers. And I loved doing the music, and he wanted to do the mu movies. I'm like, wow. yo, we gonna get, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna find a way to live our dream. You right. know what I'm saying? That's a hood classic. You know, no, it's a classic. You right. know what I'm saying? I seen that shit get made. Right. It's too many. That's a whole nother drink champ. That's too many stories. You don't that. think that contributed to your style, the, like the sound class? Because now I'm thinking already, about it, it sounded you no, seem like I was a sound already class sound DJ. clashing then. That's I was right. so you know I used to do Rock Island, Madhouse, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. but before that I was always. Like, I grew up, I was born hip-hop. Right. Mm. Like, I, I breathe, eat, sleep hip-hop. Right. I was born like this. Right. You know what I'm saying? But I also was born with the dance hall culture, mm. too. Right. And that's why Jamaica loved me so much because, you know, not, they don't know Cali for where he's at right now. They know Cali from the mud, mm. uh, you know, going to places that people can't even go to in Jamaica. You know what I mean? And ripping, sound clashing and, and right. Ri all right. Yeah, still like to on, this day. On another, to this yeah. day I yeah. rap. Yeah. Um, but it's the love. On another note, I love that joint. Holy mountain. Oh yeah, yeah, special. On another, yeah, special. <laughs> Holy mountain. I love that joint, man. You know, every party, uh, every record has a different story. Right. You know what I'm saying? From records getting made, everything has a different story. You know right. what I'm saying? That's what I love about making music. Mm. Um, making albums, mm, you know what process. I mean? Even, yeah, the process, because everything has a different story. Yeah, right. Like Wild Thoughts, you know, one of my biggest records. Wild Thoughts. You know, when I produced that, I was saying to myself, the only way I'm going to make that record, right. like I, I, I had the record, I was like, me as a producer, I'm saying to myself, the only way I would let this go if I can get Rihanna. Right. If not, mm. it's going to sit in my drive wow. until I can get because, because who, Bryson Tiller? Had no, 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 I put Bryson Tiller on there. Oh, okay. Yeah, I put Bryson Tiller on there, and uh. you know, I'm, I'm a fan of Bryson Tiller. He's, he's uh. incredible, he's very talented, and I wanted to do a collaboration where you didn't expect. Mm. First of all, Rihanna is yeah, biggest. Yeah. 
Rihanna, we need you, know you on here and smoking then, blunts, girl. And then, and blunts. Then, um, I put Tilla on there, and of course, I got to prove, you know, when you work with a big artist like a Rihanna, you know, is it okay? Right. Tilla, you know what I'm saying? To, yeah. not, not in no disrespect, but that's yeah, just... Yeah, no, it's out of respect. Yeah, 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 out of respect, and she loved the idea, and she did that for me. Everything has a... It's just a everything has a different story, but that's what I love about making this music, but not even just making it. I love also mm. being behind the scenes. Yeah. I've been behind the scenes of so many classic shit, mm. you know what I mean, as a kid growing up and then as a music executive, the mm. rooms I've been in mm. is unbelievable. I've worked with Jay-Z, right. Kanye, right. Beyonce. You worked with Jay-Z after he said, um, um, ain't nobody working with the future some, with some shit, but then he had future on the record. Uh, wasn't oh, that uh, a discrepancy? Uh, wh which one? Where he said, <laughs> uh, ain't, nobody, you know, ain't nobody playing future with my son. And I, you know, I never really got into that, but I know mm -hmm. that Jay Z is a great man. I know Future's right. a great man. I know right. at that time, um, obviously, it was. It, it, I don't think it could be something because I came right. to Future and Jay Z, and we did a record call. I got the keys. Right. right. Without any you know what After saying? that, was, what was that before? I don't. That? I don't. I don't even know. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. to be honest with you, um, right. but the blessing is that I got Future and. Jay Z, Jay -Z on a record. Got, I got the keys. I got the keys. keys, the keys. keys. I got future, keys. I love Future. Yeah, Future's is Me and him make incredible records together. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And um, Jay Z, that's my brother. You right. know what I'm saying? And Future, my brother. And um, we made I Got the Keys. I remember making I Got the Keys. Mm. Um, Jay Z put on all his chains mm. when he did his verse. Mm. Every single chain on. You know what I'm saying? Um, when we made Top Off, you know, it's, you know, I came to him, and that's another record I did with Jay Z, Future, and Beyonce. Good. I I came to Jay Z. Top off the Maybach. Yeah, top off the Maybach, and mm. I made Shining with Jay Z mm. and Beyonce, a record I mm. produced. You know what I'm saying? So I was saying to myself, like on top off, I came to Jay Z to get it on, get mm. on it. He got on it, and when he played me his verse, I was like, I got an idea. Mm. Why don't you bring the Queen in right here? Mm. That's a crazy question to ask because <laughs> you gotta have you gotta be strong to ask that yeah, question. Yeah, yeah, you got. And I'm scared. So I was scared. Yeah, you gotta. But be I'm scared. like, you know what? I wouldn't be coward without trying. Right. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, that's exactly how you said it, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me tell you well, something. I said it. I said. You know why it's hard? I'm not afraid to be told no neither. I yeah, like if that. I be told I no, like it, you know, no don't mean no at that. It might be at that second. Yeah, because so when I played it for him, I was so excited. I got Jay Z on another racket. Right. Uh, it's Jay Z. And now you're going to ask for his and wife? Then like, <laughs> yeah, and then even, I was like, yeah, it's not even, yeah. No, I was like. No, I can see where you're coming from. Like, no, I was. Now, I got to ask for I was so excited. Wife. I was just like, yo, <laughs> imagine you bringing in the queen did right you, here. What did you second uh, think it, though? Did yeah. you second think it? The reason why I nah, second think no, 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 so you felt like you were doubling down. Right, like you're but asking, I said, but I we're drinking the right thing, yeah, talking about it yeah. too. We drinking that good Ace of Spades. Um, God damn, make some noise! Yeah, the ahead, reason why I said there was nothing wrong for me asking. When you make good music, right. you make great music, and you got great chemistry and got great energy with somebody. Right. Why just do one? Right. right. Let's keep going. Right. And that's how I feel about every artist I work with: mm. Drake, Ross. Future, Wayne. If you mm. listen to my albums, my goal is to continue right. to work mm. with all these great artists. If you look right. at if you to look at continue great continue uh -huh. to work. Like Rihanna, I want to If you look at great directors and great people producers, you look at Adam Sandler, you look at Ben Stiller, they always use the same exact The crew. people they have good they, chemistry it's with. Yo, it's not, it's yeah. nothing wrong so with it. We're doing as, the same thing. As long as you make great music and the fans love it. Mm -hmm. You know right. what I'm saying? Um, so I, I I just brought up the Jay, you know, Jay always give me this look like Cal, you, you know, you crazy. You right? bugging. <laughs> but you know. <laughs> but it's a friendly you nah, bugging. That's my brother. <laughs> and um I seen this the thinking hove, you know, like the, the, the thinking like come on. Uh. You know, the queen, you know what I'm saying? I just leave. I'm already happy. I got Jay. He's like, yo, hmm? this is like a thing like a week later. I'm already ready to mix the record. <laughs> I remember I was in the back of a Phantom mm. with the fucking stars on it mm. and just chilling. It was like a nighttime in L.A. And he's mm. like, yo, text me, come to the crib. Mm. I come to the crib, it's fucking Beyonce there. 
So I'm like, oh shit. Right. They play me the record and it's Beyonce on there. I'm losing my mind. Oh, oh, so they didn't tell you she's on there. <laughs> you just think you're coming to the career for some wine. I'm already some happy. Paid. I'm already grateful. That Jay Z's going to clear it. I'm good. I got hove. Mm. Beyonce's on there now. I'm losing my, you know, I'm, I, you know when, when Beyonce's in the room, I'm like in the corner. Right. I get nervous. Right, as I, you should. I just want to say hi and I want to leave mm. because I'm just like, that's, she got so much, she's, it's Beyonce. And then she acts normal, but she's not normal. No, she's incredible. <laughs> she's a good, she's, she's a like, good So, but let me tell you the story. Yeah. Not only she, they get queen. tap off. Yeah. You know, I gave, you know, I produced a record called Move Forever. Mm. No, I didn't know. On Beyonce's Lion King. Mm. They played me that too before it came out. So I'm getting top the same time? Yes. Oh, double whammy. You gotta see how I was feeling. (laughs) Wow. I'm like, wow. We the biggest. Wow. We we work with, working with Jay Z and Beyonce on a record that I did, and also produced a record with Beyonce on another another record that's not even, that's for her. Woo. I'm like, what the fuck? I left that crib like, yo. I told my woman, I told Assad, I'm like, yo, we out of here. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> let's, let's, let's get a new we, house. We blessed. Let's get a new house. I see online you just sold your, uh, your other house. Yeah, just sold. Yeah, um, God damn it. Um, you know, I was ble- I blessed to have two cribs in Miami. Yeah, I sold good. one of them. Um, and I want to shout out um, uh, Danger, too, because um, he did some programming on um, uh, Move Forever with me. That's my man. Also, um, there's a version on Move Forever that just plays did like a mm. breakdown too. You know what I'm mm. saying? When you put, when you work with Beyonce, you know what I'm saying? She produced some of it. I did and and then you know other people got involved. And right. that's just a beautiful thing cuz um right. you know working with Beyonce, you don't know. Like say you sh- shot music or something, yeah. you don't know until you know. Right. You know what I'm saying? You wake up in the morning and it's done. It's like Christmas morning. Yeah, it's like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, I'm going to be honest. You're not supposed to know. When you work with Beyonce, whatever she's sending you, just shut the fuck up and roll with it. In now, my opinion. Am I correct? Beyonce's I'm the biggest giving, in the game. The biggest the in the biggest. game. You got to just, just I, get she put. She helped change my life, bro. She put me on a um, formation tour. You know what I'm saying? She, um, Jay and Beyonce put me on the run tour. Right. Like, I, I'm forever grateful for Beyonce, Jay-Z, what they've done for me. I'll tell you a funny and story. And we made Shining together. That's a whole I'm going to tell you story. a funny story. I go to uh, Puff is on the road with you at one time, right? So I go to Puff crib. We sitting there. He, he, he comes out. He goes, man, I'm tired of shit. I said, what's going on? He said, I've been following Colin on tour, paying my own bus. He said, but... Kyle's the only guy who can give me to do this. It was hilarious nah, to me. Yeah, Puff, Puff my dead. brother. Puff said, I kid you not, that's, that's the first thing he said to me. He said, yo, man, Kyle, he's the only guy who can give me to do this. I, I, I went on, I went on, I followed him on the whole tour. Yeah, nah. And I paid my own bill. And it, I, I didn't even mind. I said, this shit was nah, hilarious. Now, nah, the touring with Beyonce, Jay-Z, like... Was that the t- tour you were talking um, about? Yeah, it's, it's, that's the love. You see what I'm saying? The love mm-hmm. that people will come on my set Right. And like from Puff to every artist, Migos, right. the list go on. Every right. single, I, 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 I don't want to name one or two because everybody came. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And um, it was just so much love, man. Like, right. and um, I'm forever grateful to be able to get on a stage and perform at a stadium sold right. out every single night with right. the two biggest artists, Jay Z and Beyonce. Right. And I mean, you was bringing out a uh, guest. Uh, every night I would bring out guests. You know what I'm saying? I, I would right. do my set, my DJ set, right. and then I'd come with like a. a, a right. A, a, like, right. a, like a, 30 artists mm. You mm. know what I mean And people would, would show, Fly in like Puck did And you know Be right. like yo I, I got you Khaled I got you Khaled right. I got you Khaled beautiful. It was just It was That's beautiful crazy. You know what I'm saying um, And like you know We made um, The Shining record And when I made The Shining, shining record Shining Yes yeah, so when I made I, I, I remember hearing That sample one time I was at um, Zuma Private room Eating sushi and shit, and this, this 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 record came on. I'm like, shit, I want to sample that shit. So the rest of one you could pull up in a boat, probably yeah. Yeah, man, this was in New York. I was in okay, New York. I ain't, I ain't so I, I heard a sample, and I'm like, shit, I'm gonna go sample that shit. You know what I'm saying? So we got the sample. Um, um, the sample idea came from me being at the restaurant. You know what I'm mm. saying? I heard it. Mm. Uh, but you know, to get Beyonce was, I came to see Jay, mm. and I seen Jay at um. Uh, at his office in New York and I played him I said can I come play you some shit right. he said come through so I brought my speaker I played him the beat and he was just like so when I seen his head moving right like like meaning like this 
I said, oh shit, so I went like this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's still like this. And I'm like, oh shit. So I went like this. You know what I'm saying? And then, then I started seeing him like, like, like in his head. Oh, because yeah, he does like, that right like, in his I'm head. Like, oh shit. So I'm looking at Lenny now. I'm like, Lenny, yes, look at him like, you know, Lenny, you know, got his hat on. He, you know, cause he got love for me, and that's you know, that's his you know, Jay-Z, that's, that's, that's his big homie. That's his big homie. Right. So he's like, Trying to hold a uh, still composure, right, like you know what I'm right, saying, like right, no, right. nope, not playing sides. You know what I'm saying? Boom, so I'm boom. like, oh shit! I think we. <laughs> so boom, he's like, yo, you know, leave that with me. You know what I'm saying? He ain't confirmed nothing. He just like leave that with me. So all right, cool. So that night I went to um, I had to do something at the ESPN thing in the Barclays. Mm. I had to do like a, a presentation and introduce. You know what I'm saying? Right. And LeBron was getting honored that night. And I didn't know Jay Z was gonna introduce and honor LeBron. Oh, wow. So I just got there seeing Jay at the office. So I'm now doing my thing at the. You see him again. At the, I, I come out backstage. I see Jay. I'm like, oh shit, what's up, my brother? You know what I'm saying? He's like, hey, that shit is hard. What you what you gave? I'm like, and, and um, so I missed some in the office. I also said. You should let the queen hear this too. So he really looked at me because that's the first time I asked. He really looked at me like I was like, like this you dude. Got, like you got me. Yeah, and he, you, yeah, he's looking at me like, you know, they haven't made it, and them two haven't made a record in a long time. Right. So boom, when I seen him backstage, mm. he just gave me that look like. Like, I'm proud of you, and I, I'm fucking with it type look. Right. So I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm playing smart, not doing too much. My brother, because um, that same night was the Rock Nation Christmas party. So, yo, I'm going to go see you at the Christmas party. I'm going to go ahead and beat you there to it. Mm -hmm. So I go backstage, and I see a bunch of SUVs. And my man said, yo, I think Beyonce is in. I'm like, yo. Let's go to our car. It's not. Let's tell me you saw let's, Beyonce. Let's just, let's just let's, let's walk to our car and let's go. Stay focused. All right. We walk to the car. We get to the party. I had the party. So boom, we had the party. They ended up getting there. So I'm chilling. And somebody grabs my like taps my shoulder like this, and I'm like this, and I turn like this, and she, um, Beyonce goes. Yo, I like that record. Something like, uh, 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 Wait, you know, music, yeah, music, like she touched my shoulder and music was playing. So I think she said like something like, I like that record. And first of all, when I turn my head, you know, I'm starstruck when I see Beyonce. So I Everyone turn my is. head. I wasn't sure if it was her or not. Like I'm trying to tell you, I wasn't sure. I swear on my, on my mama, on my kids. So I turn my head, I hear it, I like it. Then when I do that, I see from the behind. I see Hov, and he has his hands in his pocket. You know how he be having his hands in his pocket? And he was like, <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, it's yeah, it's, it, it looked like it might happen. Right. Yeah, like right. subliminal reading the mind. Greats read minds, you know that, right? right. Yes. You know, Hov's Sagittarius, I'm Sagittarius. Mm. So I can, you know what I mean? There's certain keys that I can, I can mm. pick up on. Mm. So it's like, boom. So now I'm in New York, I get to LA. Um, it's almost time for Grammys. You know what I'm saying? You know, the Rock Nation brunch. Right. You know what I'm saying? Boom, boom. So the Rock Nation brunch, he's like, um, I'm going to the Rock Nation brunch. Mm -hmm. So I get to the Rock Nation brunch. He's like, yo, after the brunch, come to the crib. I want to play you something. No, matter of fact, he goes, yo, wreck it done. Matter of fact, <laughs> my bad, hold on. The text, because I want to get everything, because this <laughs> was a big moment. The text came in the night before the Rock Nation brunch, wreck it done. Mm. I don't know what that means because right. I mean I know I got now I got hold I'm like I'm good right. but he said record done but like it was a different way the text read it said record done right. and I'm like okay I don't do too much I'm like I love you thank God boom boom mm. and then he's like after the brunch come to the crib so I go to the brunch I see Puff there's a picture of me uh. um, Puff and Hove I don't know it was a picture and, he, and I'm looking at Hove like this and Ho was telling me at that moment, hold your head high and walk around this event and hold your head high. Cause the wreck is done. I'm walking around this motherfucker like this. Cause nobody knows, so I'm walking around. The man told me to hold my head high. I'm walking around the whole brunch like this. I go to the crib. 
Beyonce's on the record. Beyonce and Hov's on the record. T.I. comes walking in like 30 minutes later. He heard it. Um, there's a few people heard it, and I'm bugging out. Like, I'm, it's my, it's, and there's Beyonce. no DJ Khaled yeah. on the record no, now. No, no, it's already on the record. Oh, it's already? Yeah. <laughs> when you get, start. When you get, it's the original. Yeah, when, <laughs> my, record, my records, they come with that. Oh, okay, go <laughs> My bad, I got they, they don't come. It's <laughs> baked in, it's yeah, baked yeah, in. It's not added. <laughs> after, <laughs> it's first, okay. I need, <laughs> to, I need to understand that. That's a that. big fucking album. <laughs> don't get it twisted. <laughs> we in that motherfucking DJ Khaled. We the... Yeah. Another, just right. know it's right. a fucking hit. Right, right. All right, right. all right. Play mm -hmm. whatever you want. Right. But I'm losing my mind, so check this out. Mm -hmm. You know, the Grammys is Sunday. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I got the record that I'm like, good, I'm going to mix it. I go clear the sample. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I got time. You know, I ain't, gonna, I, no, I ain't got no plan when I want to drop it. You right. know what I'm saying? I'm going to get it all ready, right. get the artwork, mix right. it. You know what I mean? Take my time. I still got to do my, my shit to it, my producing right. to it, drops, this, that, right. and that. He's like, yo, let's drop this shit Sunday. And this, you know, the brunch is on Saturday. <laughs> oh, shit. I said, ho. <laughs> I said, ho. I got to clear the sample. Right. It's Sunday. It's, you know, the Lord, everybody, know, it's, it's it clear the sample, and then I got to mix it. You know, I still want to go in there and do my thing to it. Uh -huh. He looked at me like, I know you ain't tripping, right? I'm like, no, 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 no. I said, no, I ain't tripping. I said, I ain't tripping. But you know how hard it is yeah, to no, no, I, 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 said, I could fuck up the whole record. No, I almost lost it. I said, I said, no, I ain't tripping. I'm saying I gotta clear the record. Like, it's, I don't wanna, I don't, we don't wanna get sued. Yeah. I said, I see where you're going. He basically saying, make it happen. Yeah. So I'm like, all right, I leave. I got every, I got my lawyer, I got everybody. Yo, we got to clear the sample right now. Khaled, I don't give a fuck. This is Khaled, Jay-Z, and Beyonce. Just Beyonce and Jay-Z on this record. But, but we, let me they're going to pick up. But let me ask you, do you say that when you clear the sample? That you say... The, sometimes I don't. Yeah, because that um, might. They yeah, might sometimes I don't, but this one I had to... They, they, they know eventually. But I'm right. talking about this one I had to because I need them to answer now. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. they cleared it right away. I ain't sleep. Who was the sample by? I forgot the, the, the exact name. It was like some like overseas oh, type okay. thing, you know what I'm saying? Somebody uh, who needed that check? I mean, I don't know. I don't oh. know. To be honest with you, I told you I heard a shit in the restaurant. That's a good team because the I team has to track down. I shazammed it. I who's, shazammed who's it. the owner of it? Right, right. here, some I shazam it. You know, like right. a Sam old record or something. So. That's all. You're going to be the next motherfucker of shazam no. just now. So we'll, now. We'll. Right nah, now. nah, Shazam, we here. Shazam. But listen, um, <laughs> big commercial for you. But listen, um, um, what I'm saying is, so now I get the record mix. Uh -huh. I'm making the artwork. I got it cleared. Mm. It's Grammy night. Mm. I'm getting the record approved from Jay Z and Beyonce while they're at the Grammys, mm. <laughs> and it's coming out that night. Because right. Hov said this crop is Sunday. It's coming out that night. I got L.A. Reid, everybody. I got Sylvia Rome. I got everybody at Epic, everybody on hold. Like, meaning, like, you know, have it ready once right. I get the approval that they cool with the mix and everything. Right. They approved it backstage or on the way to the seats. I don't right. know how they approved I'm sitting there. <laughs> I, this is my first time getting nominated. My album got nominated, right. Major Key, right. for a Grammy, so I'm what, excited about What year about is this again? What year is it? Uh, I think 2016. Okay. So I'm sitting here, just, like, stressed out. Um, I get the text, it's approved. It's coming out midnight. It came out midnight that night. Actually, it came right after the Grammys. It was over, boom, let it go, and we made history. Record went number one on radio, um, and I was just grateful, man, to, to be able to work with the king and queen. You know what I'm saying? I was, Together. again, um, Jay-Z, Beyonce, if you're watching this, which, you know, Drink Champs is the biggest show. Thank you so much. I'm very yeah. grateful for your relationship, your friendship, and thank you for believing me when it come down to making music and producing records and just just being here for me. I appreciate you. God damn it, man. Make some noise for that. God damn it. Now, what, what's dope about these stories, too, is that someone would say, oh, look, it's easy how he gets these records done. Oh. It's done. And showing right. that. You know, you know, I have an answer for that. I love when I hear that. Let me see you do it. Right. right. Exactly. Let me see you do it. Right. What you think my records just appear? Right. No. Right. No. I'm, like you had Nas I, I, on. on, I'm, on okay. I love. Go ahead. Yeah, no, 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 I'm asking you. Like you had Nas on, um, 
on, on joints where I, like Nas was literally working on his album. Nas album done. Nas album done. Mm-hmm. That's what I was going to. But like, how, how, what is your specialty to get these artists? Well, like, Nas, Nas, okay, Nas, another Nas. brother. Okay. That I love. Right. And Nas love me, I, love I know. Yes. Nas love. love me and I love him. Mm-hmm. I am a Nas fan on another level. And yes. becoming his friend for so many years, I've known Nas for so long, it's so beautiful. That's beautiful. That he's my friend, you know what I mean? We check that on in me, the I check on him. We, we filmed that video in Bahamas, um, that record. So when I work with Nas, I always try to tell Nas right when I start making an album, like say I start making an album tonight, right. just start it. I try to get my Nas record and send it to him now because I know it's not going <laughs> to come. It's going to take a minute. Right. It's not going to come. No, it's positive. That's no, 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 real shit. That's real shit. No, it's love. Real I'm just I like this shit. But this is see, real but shit. it shows you how... Yeah. No, he's an artist. This is the process. This is the process. I know, but it shows you how focused I am. Right. Yeah, that's real shit. I'm making records, so I'm like, yo, let me give it real to him shit. now. First, he got to like it. Right. And I know when it's going to come. Right. It's called... A day before the album gotta get done, <laughs> or maybe sometimes a week before. Right. But me and him made so many great records together right. that we have this bond. That right. you know, when I tell him I need it, it's he knows it's genuine. I need it right away. He gotta love the record. You know what I'm right. saying? And me and him make great records together. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? We really do. And um, you know, I just talked to him. I think like about three weeks ago to text him, send him love. You know, I and mean? he hit me back, showed me love, and um. I love dude, you know what I'm saying? Like we make great records together and we shot we had the best time shooting that video in the Bahamas. Yeah, man. We was I love like it. No, I felt like a drink chance. We yeah, was yeah, on I the love, drink. I love that, we man. was chilling. I love and it's it. and I feel like that's a classic. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. By the way, hold on. I'm not gonna lie, I've never drank this rose fast in my shout life. Out liquors, shout, out liquors. Liquors. shout out to Best Buy Liquors. Shout out to Best Buy Liquors. Shout out to Best Buy Liquors. Best Buy Liquors on Instagram. Uh, you know, big uh, shout out to Wood Tavern, Best Buy Liquors, follow them on Instagram. <laughs> God damn it, you already know, man. But this came from uh, Elaine at uh, my, my fucking um, Ace of Spade. You know, she gave us the, the, the rosé. She gave us the rosé. I haven't drank rosé in a minute. I've been staying away from sugar, but today, uh, uh, and Duce, what's the motherfucker? And Ciroc, goddammit. Make some noise for that, goddammit. And Colombian White, goddammit. And Colombian Light. <laughs> we only keep it in hip hop. We only keep it in family. We only nah, keep nah. it in that. So, Kyle, let's get into the couple of artists that you, you've, you've worked with and put on. Um... How about uh, Flip the Narrow? That's that's yeah. that's your artist now. Yeah, Flip the Narrow signed to We the Best. Um, okay. Very excited about him. Right. Very very excited about him. Right. Um, you know, we put out uh, Leave Me Alone. Um, I partnered up with Shipes. You know, Cinematic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we partnered up together, and we got Flip on We the Best Cinematic Epic, and um, oh, we put out Leave Me Alone. Went double platinum. Put out uh, How I Move with Little Baby. Shout out to Little right. Baby. Love working with Little Baby. Um, and that went. Um, I think platinum. Right. Um, oh, I think it's gold now, about to be platinum. And right. um, we about to come with an album. Wow. He dropped a mixtape. Very excited about him. He, his growth is just getting dope. He's from Brooklyn. Right. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. And uh, we're going to be signing some more artists. And um, there's a lot of things I'm doing in uh, this year that I'm probably going to announce in 2021 right. about <clears throat> just the brand as far as the label side. We're bringing mm. some more people on, the, on board. Any international artists? Um, we ain't got nobody international right now, but... Um, you know, we looking for greatness. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you can't never really know when something's going to come to your table till it come. Right. Because, you know, music is a, is a feeling. It's a vibe. And then the way we the best is run, it's, it's run like it's a family. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it, it, it's, it just got to fit. And it got to fit for both of us, whoever we work with. And it just it just happens. It's not like one day I'm just looking to sign anyone. It just... I want to hear something that's so incredible that make me want to be a fan. Right, right. You but talk, know what about, I mean? talk about how difficult it is sometimes as a CEO because as a CEO you have everything in 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 in, in, in this atmosphere. You can you you can reach any artist, and then you get these artists, and you give them the same platform that you have. Right. But they might not reach the the, the necessary. Well, I how do you deal for, with that? I mean, no, you know me for a long time. Absolutely. You're saying you know me for a long Absolutely. time. I go hard for everyone. Right. I go. Right. I don't think nobody go harder. Right. Um, I promote hard for everyone. I I try to push you to be great for everybody, mm-hmm. not just artists. People mm-hmm. that, if it's Ivan, Kiko, my mm-hmm. friends that work with me, has been down with me from Shout day one. Patty. Yeah, right. Patty. I push them to be great. I want them. Everybody. We got to be great. We got to right. be great. You know, we're a family. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, um, 
but it, as a human, you gotta know how far you wanna go. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I don't, you know, if you, I could be friends with Nori all my life. Right. And I'm like, yo, Nori, yo, you gotta go harder, you know, so this and right. that and that. Some people, you know, it's, it's a decision you have to make. I'm not saying people That's don't real. go hard. You're just not on the same wavelength. I know, but some people go hard. It's not about that. It's just everybody got their own way of doing things, no matter what. Right. But me as a friend and as somebody that is working with you as a partnership, I'm always gonna push you to be great. You know what I'm saying? And everybody but works hard, executive? but everybody got their own way of doing shit. Mm. Same way you got your own way doing your show. You was really particular how right. you want your show. Everybody yes. got their own way of doing right. shit. And you have to respect that and yes. love that. Yes. You know what I'm saying? But how hard is it like when, when you're executive and be, I'm just talking to the executive college. I'm not even talking to the brother college. The brother college, everyone knows you have the, one of the most purest hearts in the world, mm. right? But what happens when it, it, you, you're investing into an artist and... And you, you're digging into a hole almost like a boat. Like people say, don't ever buy a boat. Because if you buy a boat, it just keeps sinking down. So what part, what, what time does this, you say, you're like, you know what? It's not working. Do I, you step away or how does that work? Um, I, I, you know me, I never step away really, mm. to be honest with you. Mm. Um, you know, it's, you, you're welcome here no matter what unless you do something this disrespectful right. violation. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's just we any don't need human that. being. No one right. needs that. We nobody no, needs nobody that. Nobody needs that. So, um, if you want to be here, let's go. Mm. Let's rock to the wheels fall off. Right. Right. It's not about if you winning. It's not, I know it takes time. Mm. I come from nothing, man. Yeah, like, yeah. I didn't start overnight, but mm. I know what it takes to get there. I don't, mm. I, I, you know, Khaled, Khaled, me, I never, I don't give up. Um, and, so I'm not gonna give up on nobody else either unless they want really? to not be here. And and not being here doesn't mean you don't love me, you don't like me. That's real. You know what I'm saying? People grow. You know what I'm right. saying? I've grown. I've, right. I've moved situations. Right. So, but I always kept my relationships with everybody I've been with. Mm. There's nobody, there's nobody can talk bad about Khaled. If somebody talks bad about Khaled, then you need to really look at them. Mm. You can't please everybody. No, if you somebody talks bad about Cal, you really need to look at them. You know what I'm saying? And right. I, and and at the end of the day, is uh, um, I'm blessed that nobody really talked bad about me. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, we all are human. I'm sure somebody might have said this, that, and that. But at the end of the day is, come on. I can't see somebody saying something bad about Noriega because I know Noriega. My heart is always in the right it's place. It's pure. You know what I'm saying? Right. But at right. the end of the day, is I represent pure. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's love always. Right. And, that, and that's the thing with I'm just going to push everybody to be great. That's what I do. Right. right. That's and real. everybody know me know that. Yes. That's real shit. I got to make some noise for that. God damn it. Oh, shit. I was learning my life. Yeah. Uh, Joe, you want to go? No, I want to go more old school Miami shit. Oh, uh -huh. like, shit. I want to know, you got any stories with, like, Uncle Al, man? Yeah, oh, for sure. Al. Uncle Al, one of yeah. my favorite DJs. Uncle Al, me and him did, um, we did the Luke show together. Yep. And before the Luke show, me and I mean, him I knew you had the stories. I just wanted you to yeah, tell me. When y'all said the Luke show, y'all just talking about the radio show? The radio show, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but even before the radio show. Remember, he had a Luke but, show where no, 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 he had yeah, Jay Z but, and he had girls yeah, over there. Yeah, that was Luke's Peep Show. But, oh, right, but right, we, right, we, we, right, right. we got to set the stage. The, the, Luke's the reason, show and Luke's Peep Show Luke's was two show different Luke's show on 99 Jams was so big because we didn't have a hip hop mix show on commercial radio. Like, wow. not a yeah. regular this one. This is the first time really wow. hip hop yeah. got played so in Miami. So, in Miami, in Florida. Big station. That was huge. And we didn't, the beat wasn't around yet. It was just 99 Jams. Wow. And and that was huge. That yeah, was Miami huge was run by the underground radio, yeah, private wow. radio. Yeah, and wow. which which Uncle I was a part of. Yeah, yeah huge no, part King, of. Uh, right. King. Yeah, Uncle I was a king. He's right. he's a legend. He is somebody I look up to. Yeah. His right. style was, um, right. you know, I always tell great DJs, you know, we're not just a DJ, we're an artist too. Yeah. Mm. And he was a perfect example of being a mm. DJ and an artist. And mm. he put records out. Yeah, you know, right. no, he's big a, records. He's a yo, right. no, he's a legend, um, right. and I'm honored to be his friend. He loved right. me, and I loved him. And then right. we ended up doing the Luke show, radio show together too. And that was just even more incredible. I would do my shit. He right. would come with his style. Right. We did clubs together. He's a legend. You know what I'm saying? Right. Somebody to this day that um, I'm inspired by, right. and somebody that is a good man mm. with a good heart. And his, his slogan was peace in the hood. Yeah, that's all. There's a whole festival. You know what I'm saying? That's peace in the, the hood. hood. Like, yeah. he brought love to the hood. Yeah. Like, he's this incredible person. Um, let's put, put it up one time for Uncle that's Al. All. That's that's all. Uncle Al. Al. Uncle Al. You know what I'm wow. saying? God damn it. So, um, what made you say, you know what? 
I'm gonna start putting out my own records. You know what I mean? Because I get, you know, you're a DJ, you're a producer, but then you say, you know what? Let me go in and make my own album. But be- and- wait, before you answer, actually, do you remember Karis one performed at Cameo? Mm-hmm. I was there, and so I'm already on my mixtape shit, and I'm I come back there with this digital four track. And you was spinning that night, and then you came back there, and I'm getting a freestyle, and then you're like, yo, EFN, get me a freestyle yeah, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh. And I don't know if that's, if that's, I know you you got freestyles on the radio, yeah. but I almost think that because that ended up on the mixtape you did with Tony Touch, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, I think so, yep. And I'm, I was like, I think I got Khaled's first verse ever, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. Nah, it's, it's crazy because, um, you know, that show was legendary. Legendary. Cameo, so rare Huge. Pack. Legendary. Um, Tony Touch and KRS? It was, no, was Karis one. one. No, no, but he did a mixtape with Tony Touch. Humble Lion, bro. Yeah, yeah, Humble, Humble Lion. Lion. Yep. Shout out Humble, Humble Lion. Lion. Big promoter in Miami. Shout out uh-huh. Booger and the Humble Lion crew, author and the whole crew. And um, Karis One, when I tell you Cameo was so rampacked, wow. the only time I ever seen it like that was when the Fugees came. Yep. Wow. And it was just this energy that's just unbelievable. And um, he brought me out on stage and he just bigged me up. Just shouted me out like, yo, DJ Khaled, you know what I'm saying? Boom, boom. And I think he did the tennis ball thing. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Wait, and does Karis want tennis ball? This is the same show? No, it's not the same show. He, oh. he, did, he does that in all his all shows. shows. Oh, yeah, yeah. He makes okay, fun right. of me because I got a tennis ball. But yeah, he got a legendary. He's a legendary. He's a legendary. He's a He thinks he's a tennis ball. Legendary. I didn't know. I didn't know he did. I thought it was one show he does it. He does it to this day. He does it every show he does a tennis ball. It's a special moment. What the fuck is in this tennis ball? He signs a tennis ball. It's legendary. It's legendary. Oh, I've so, never um, seen this show with Karis one. So um, I feel offended, Chris. Okay, um, good to you. Good. You know, it was just like I, I, I'm trying to remember that moment, but I do remember the freestyle. I have it. I have Ooh, it still. I need. I it. have the, the four track. Let's drop it's, that shit. And I remember because because Karis one called the four track. I used to take that around everywhere. He said, "This is the mini Chung King Studios right here." Wow. And it was him and a oh, what was the the dude that he was with? Doral, Doral, Doral was an artist he was rolling with at the time. I remember. I think his manager was Wes. Yeah, yeah, you know I, I think so. it was Wes. His name was Wes. Legend, legend. But I have it. I ha- yeah, yeah, I mean, I you, you put no. it out. You put no, out the freestyle. No, I know the tape, but, but I, I have, got it, the, I have the, the, the tracks. Yeah, yeah, I want that shit. Yeah, yeah I want that shit. Nah, okay, so we, we have to address this. Rick Ross got on the back of his record, and he said, he had a whole thing addressing Baby. But he said, what hurt me is my brother Khaled. What did he, he say? He said, what hurt me is whatever happened with you, you and my brother Khaled. Oh, you're talking, he was bigging me up. He said, Cal is blessed. Yes, you're talking about, of, of, um, with Birdman. With the the Cal situation. Uh, you're talking about the um, yeah. idols become rivals. Yes. Yeah, he was bigging me up. Yo, my brother Cal is blessed. Right. He was showing me love. and. Um, right. I mean... Ross loves me. Yes. It's family. You know that. Yes, I do know that. That's my brother. Right. Um, you know, not only do we make music together, not only was... Um, I was blessed that he had me as a r a lot of his albums, mm-hmm. but he's my friend. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? My friend, um, and I'm just proud to be his friend, and, and just, you know, I love his family. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I think when he made that record, it was more like, you know, Ross has always been a big brother. Right. Not just for me, right. but for a lot of people. And he's like a big brother in the game. Right. You know, like, you know, we look at Jay-Z as big homie. Right, yeah, that's what everyone calls him. You know, I look at Ross like big brother. Mm. And he's just basically, you know what I'm saying, he just care about right. his people. You know what I mean? And um, at the end of the day, as I know, Ross always has great intentions to everything. Um, right. Because he's a real person that he'll come to the table. Yeah. You know, he's a real man. Like, any right. situation, it could be a problem or no problem, a real man should come to the table. Mm. And... You know, and me and you had a situation where you get on the phone or right. go or come to the table, you right. know what I'm saying? And, you know, it can't be that serious not to be able to go to the table All and right. fix it. That's real. Um, he was just showing me love. He was bigging me up, showing right. me love. And um, I have love for Birdman. Right. I have love for Ross. Ross, you know, that's family. Right. And at that moment, at that time, was more like Ross was saying, you know, I just got out my situation with Cash Money. And I appreciate Cash Money for mm. everything they've done for me. Um, and not just speaking about Cash Money, I used to be on Koch. Remember I, Joe? I say, Fat one, Joe brought me, mm-hmm. Fat Joe got me my first deal I'm with Koch. Luck. Joe yeah. Crack, I love you for that. Yeah. You know love what I'm saying? He, he believed in me. Right now, baby. He believed in me. Love my brother, my 
He believed in me to get me a deal at Koch Records. Mm. From Koch Records, I went to... Um, was we taking over on, on Koch? Koch? Let me tell you something. That's I'm going to be honest. I don't even know if I ever told you this. I've been around you so much, and I've never told you this. That's one of my top five records. Oh, no, that's yeah, all that life. life. You, you, of my all life. That's why. I, when I hear Wayne you know verse? why? You know why? When I moved to Miami, that was like the first record. Like when I was like finally was like, and I just heard that shit every day. I love that record. I, I, I'm a sucker yeah. for not telling you that no, to that your face no, no. a long time ago. You know what I'm just saying? I should have said that. That record, like. We like, taking over and I'm so hood changed my life. Those are the, those so are just two, like, those two records changed my person. life. And what came first, the, I'm So Hood or um, um, We Taking we Over? We Taking Over first, then I'm So Hood. Okay, okay. And Good. those two records changed my life. Wow. And I want to shout out um, Joe Crack for getting me to deal with Alan Grunblatt. Yes. It was We The Best, T.S. Koch. Yes. Mm. Um, and then after that, I think I went to, um, I ended up being president of Def Jam. Def Jam. And Def Jam South, you know, as an A&R. And then I end up getting my... A uh, label deal with um, I had a label deal at Def Jam, mm -hmm. and then after I left Def Jam label deal, I had um, I did a deal with um, Cash Money Universal. Okay. And after Cash Money Universal, I went to We the Best Epic. Right. You know what I'm saying? So you know, now so, I'm an so, Epic. So, so describe describe those transition from Koch. So from Koch, so this the reason why I'm bringing out all these deals is because I want to let the, you let the new know. artists know. Yeah. Even if you had a bad deal, mm. be grateful. Because I was grateful for every single deal mm. I ever got because it's a learning experience right. to get a better one. Mm. And after you get a better one, you learn more and you learn it's more. Me, I'm a grateful guy. I don't have, nobody ever did me wrong. Nobody. Mm. Not one person. Mm. Because I am grateful for the opportunity. Mm. When you get an opportunity, is you got to be grateful now. So no one did you wrong in your eyes. No, nobody right. did me wrong. In your eyes. Because at the end of the day, we're all men, and at the end of the day, is that's why I said we got can come to the table. Right. Sometimes you grow. You know what I'm saying? Early in my career, I might have made my first deal might have been twenty thousand mm. dollars. But look at me now. I'm a CEO. I'm DJ Khaled. I have eleven albums out. I'm working on my twelfth album. Mm. I have a, a, a brand called We the Best. I own my masters. Mm. Uh, this, I, I mean, look at me. Like, right. I, obviously, I'm grateful. Right. 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 You know what I'm right. saying? Right. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? Like, and I learned through my process. I'm sure, right. Noy, when you first right. got a of deal, course. you learned. Of course. Um, so anybody I ever work with, I appreciate them. Mm. I love them, uh, and to this day, I don't, I don't believe in burning no bridges. Right. Only God can walk on water. Right. Don't burn a bridge. Only right. God can walk on water. The only time it is, I feel like it gets so serious if somebody violates you, hurts right. you, you know, does something to that point to your family. That's violation. Right. Right. These, these are opportunities. Right. I'm feeding but, my but family. Was transition? I, 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 I don't call it the music business. I call it the music blessing. Right. Music changed my life. It makes me take care of my kids. I love music. Yes, you have to know how to do your business. Yes, you have to know. But what was the transition from right. Cots to Cash Money? If you um, could. it was dope. You know what I'm saying? I was excited. First of all, I'm a, I'm a Cash Money fan. Was it? Was it, I'm not saying on on, on Cots behalf. Was it like? Well, Cots. I never wanted to leave Cots. Oh wow! And, and that's what I'm trying to tell you. It wasn't about the money. Wow. I loved Alan Grumblack. I never wanted to leave Koch. Yeah, sure. But my, you know, I just got done dropping all I do is win. I'm I'm, sell, I'm 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 selling records at a time where everybody thought I couldn't do it. I mm. dropped I'm so hood, brown paper bag, all I do is win. We taking over. Mm. Um huge records. Huge fucking records, right? And my contract is up. And I'm like, yo, Alan, I'll stay. Right. But I need a bigger bag. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because I proved right, myself. Right, yeah. right. It was, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you got to use... I've been giving another drink. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm talking drink. about... And what I'm saying is, you know, if you're going to use leverage, right. you have to have... You have to bring something to the table. What I brought to the table is that I make hit records, the people love me, and we the best brand is getting bigger and bigger. And I was just like... And he wanted to do it. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I gave him the opportunity to do it, and he tried. He tried. Right. He tried, you know what I'm saying? You know, his finance people wouldn't let him give him the, the bag I was requesting. Yeah, and, and I was changing the business up a little, mm -hmm. you know? You know, I saw I want, and, and, and this is another thing I want to tell people too, is partnership is 
is actually everything works good for for different type of people. Mm. In different ways. Me, I love having a partner. Mm. I love my partners. I love Sony partners Music, too. Epic Records. I love them. Right. You know, Rock Nation is my right. management. Right. I love them. They're my partners. I right. love when my management can make money. I love when Epic and Sony can make money because we're making money together. Hey, my, business together. Is, right. my business is right, though. Right. I own half my masses. Right. I can get my other half anytime I want. Mm-hmm. I can buy it anytime I want. I can get it tonight if I want. But I don't want. I, I, I like you in business with me. When you when I make money, you make money. You gonna right, want to make right. money with me. They and push it. you gonna if I say I want, I got. This, I'm ready to do this, that, and that, and that, that. They ready to support and fund it. That's a blessing. It's called great partners. You know what right. I'm saying? Um, and I could do it the other way. I can own 100 percent of my masses tonight. I own my masses. You know what I'm right. saying? But at the end of the day, is I love having great partners. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Respect. You know what I mean? Like, it's not like, like, right now, your, your partner for this show is who? We got three partners. Okay. But we own our and, show. And do you yes, love it? Yes, yes. 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 I love them. Do you love your partners? Our show? Yes, and I love them. Thank yes. you. That's and what you I'm trying to do. Let's be clear. So let's name our partners. Yeah. Let's big up to Title. Title. God damn it. Yeah. Let's big up to Revolt. God Revolt. damn it. Yeah. And let's bring up to Master Pill. God Master damn it. Pill. Wait, and let's not forget drink fucking chips. Yeah. God damn it. Say we own 100% of our message. Yes, what I'm saying is, um, me, I'm speaking for Cowit. Everybody's right. different. Mm-hmm. Every I was independent for years. Right. right. You know, I forgot before I, um, um, before I went to Epic uh, right. Sony, I was independent. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, um, and that's when. My fans experienced the keys. Mm. So let me tell you. That's where Snapchat came? Yeah, so listen. Oh, we got to get to that, so too. So I leave, yeah. I, leave um, I end up, um, my deal's up, you know, leaving Cash Money Universal. Mm. I'm broke. No way. When I say broke, meaning as in, like, I had nothing to show for. Mm. And I talking about I'm broke because I wasn't getting paid. No, it's called, you know... I but just, but it's because cause I just want to like just for the fans, not for me. Um, but is that what Rick Ross was mad about? Because it felt like hold on, we're gonna we're gonna get yeah, to okay, it. Okay, yeah. all right. Because okay. the thing is, what I'm trying to tell you, I say broke, meaning as in when I went independent, I said, "Yo, I need to own a house." Right. What if I stop today? I own nothing. Mm. So I made sure I bought my last dollar. I bought my house. Mm. Made sure mom and dad was straight. Mm. Now I'm on the road every day doing parties, hosting, but I was just making enough money to Make pay sure the bills. You know what I'm saying? Make sure that's not us. And then I went independent. I spent all my money on the I Changed a Lot album. Mm. Over like $2 million. Mm. You know, whatever show I would make, I put it into the album. This I put it in the album. But I say broke meaning as in if I made a hundred dollars, it went into the album. If I made a hundred thousand dollars, you know, it kept putting yeah. it in there. Mm. I change a lot, comes out, it doesn't do too good, but I'm independent. To this day, I still get paid off the album. Still do. To this day, I still do get what it royalties to do. and pay, I own 100% of that to mm-hmm. this day. So I know the wow. feeling of independent. Right. To this day, I still get paid off that album. Wow. But what I'm trying to tell you is, but there's a thing called, when I went independent, my label deal was up, my publishing deal was up. I was free agent across the board. Mm. They try to count me out. So even in like uh, Nori, Nori, they try to count me out. What? <laughs> they try to finish me. Huh. I end up being free agent, and guess what happens? Guess what God does? I let people in my world. My first time I ever let my fans mm. in my in in my personal life through my Snapchat. Woo. You no, know, because that's, you know me, you know me, I've always been like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Always, I, I, what I, made I, you start I, even thinking about I don't even know what Snapchat, Snapchat is. Right. <laughs> Mokes, my man Mokes in um, White Side, like, you got to get on Snapchat. Right. I'm like, all right, fuck it, what is it? So I'm at home, my album just dropped, I'm a little depressed. So I'm having my spiritual moments, like I always have been Khaled, always been like that, with my flowers and that, I'm Snapchatting. One day, my phone broke from the jet ski, so I went to the Apple store. This is when you lost that seat? Yeah, lost the seat, but my, okay. my phone broke. I went to go to the jet ski. I went to go get a new phone. 
So I'm with my flip-flops, white tee, and my shorts like I always wear at the crib. I go to the Apple store in Aventura. I walk in the Apple store like, y'all need a new phone. And the guy looks at me like, like he's seen a ghost. So I'm like, no, don't get twisted. They, people got love for DJ Cal. DJ right. Cal, they want right. pictures. You know, they might want right. an autograph here and there. But they thought you was really lost at no, sea. No, no, when they see me, no, he just, no, he just see me like, I was confused because he's like really excited to see me. So <laughs> like, I was like, y'all like you need my it. phone. Wait, so this is after... So he's like immediately showing me mad love. And now I turn my head and I see like 10,000 people in the store. Wow. Fans, the whole mall found out I was in the mall and the whole store was filled with fans. And they were screaming my name and talking about Major Key and uh, Bless Up and Lion. And, uh. and I'm like, what the fuck? You know, I always got love, but this was like on some Beatles shit. This is the Aventura store, the grill right next to the, there. The Apple store in the Aventura mall. Yeah, Aventura store, mall. Aventura mall, yeah, yeah. I ain't leave my house in a month because it was like the holiday time, November, right. December. Mm. This is when you start doing Snapchat. Yeah, that's when I started doing it. So I'm like, mm. so I go home on yo. I told my girls, like, yo, you know, you know, people love DJ Cowboy, but nah, something going on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So boom, I go, it's New Year's time. New Year's Eve come. I gotta do a party in Vegas. Right. I pull up my tour bus. The promoter, Mike, so I get there um, um, to my bus, and he's like, yo, my bus pull up so people see me. Uh, Mike said, yo, you can't come from the front. You, we got to take you through the back door. And like, I'm like, yo, bro, what you talking about, bro? Like, like you know what I'm saying? Like, Vegas. I'm going Vegas. I'm going to my room. I'm going, you know, I'm going to chill out. I'm in Vegas. Nah, you can't. You can't. There's tens of thousands of people by the elevator. They, 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 they're going crazy for you. So I'm like, you tripping. So I go in there. And I see, they, they see me, they bum rush. So I'm, I mean, you know, I'm snapping, yo, what up? Uh, uh, uh. So I get to my room. I, you know, so I'm, they tell me I can't hang out because it's too crazy. I'm like, yo, bro, I'm in Vegas. I just drove all the way out here. I got to go party. So it's time for the club. I get to the club. They take me through the kitchen back door. And the promoter's like, yo, the whole club sold out. Fire marshals. This shit is insane. Uh. He's like, um... We want to talk about um, giving you a residency. You know, I know you come here once in a while, but now can we do like the real deal? I'm like, shit. Mm -hmm. So from that day on, you know, my fans embraced me on another level. Mm -hmm. What happened was, you know, I always tell the young world, be you. You know what I'm saying? I'm always going to be coward. I'm not going to be no, I don't sound like nobody. I don't try to be like nobody. I am coward. That's real. You know what I'm saying? And... From that day on, now, the reason why I'm going to bring up the free agent word, word is I'm free agent. Right. The whole world is screaming DJ Khaled. Right. The whole entire world. Right. Like, the world. This, right. uh -huh. I got every record company in the world calling, trying to fly jets in. Yo, we're sending you the, Yo, right. well, let's do a new deal. Let's do a deal. What's with it? Mm -hmm. L.A. Reid called me. L.A. Reid's the first guy that gave me my first label deal, mm. and he gave me a huge executive position. So I never forgot that. Mm. I respect that. Ten years later, we reconnect. He calls me at Christmas time and says, Hey, mm. I heard you're free agent. Wow. What I gotta do? This is when he's at Epic. He's he at Epic. Leaves Def yeah, he leaves that Yeah, he's at Epic now. And, um,. At this time, not now, but at this time. I said, L.A., you know what? God talking to me, you know what I'm saying? And you was there for me. You believed in me early. Early. You gave me my first big check early. Wow. Let's do business. Wow. Brings me to Epic. He leaves Epic. Um, Sylvia Rome was president at that time. She's the chairman now. And Sylvia Rome's family, she always showed me love. So I had L.A. and Sylvia, two people that loved me, you know what I'm right. saying? And... Sylvia's chairman now, and she loved me, and my partnership has been so great from ever since. Right. You know what I mean? And it's just been incredible. And the more the story is, I was free agent when they try to count me out. Right. Meaning as in, the ball's in my court. Right. So any deal I did right. was going to be done right, incredibly, and a blessing. Real shit. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So... I just want to tell everybody out there, don't give up. Even when shit time go even hard, when times go hard, go hard. Right. When times is great, go harder. Right. 
So, I don't know. I ain't stopping. Like, I, I, don't, I make music. No, I'm a brand. Either. We the best as a brand. We do, we do movies, TVs. We do music. We do everything. You know what I'm saying? Right. We bless. God is Make great. Make some noise. We're the best. Bro. Yeah. All right, Kyle, because I just wanted this, this to be just as involved as every episode ever. We always do shots. You don't have to participate. Damn, I if you like want to participate, I'm going to do this. Yeah, you want to do this? A big goal. We, we can pour a shot in there. It's okay. It's all right. Oh, no, you, I'm down to do get it. Him, give him another one. You know, cause and it's all our people shots. We can sterilize your cup, okay, do whatever you yeah. want to do. Get a, you know, besides the drink you having already, because I'm having this and I'm drinking, but I'm having another one. Um, I'm Sorry. gonna go. Prefer what shot you want me to take, Kyle. Um, I mean, let's go. I it's mean, either do say or Ciroc. That's it. Um, um, if it's a shot, let's go do say. If it's a go shot, do say. If it's a go shot, do say. You know what I'm saying? Let's go do say, baby. You know what I mean? We gotta do it. We gotta be right out this mother flipper. Uh, Colombian white. All right, darling. That's it. I'm drinking brown today. This is what we doing, man. Happy, happy, happy quarantine. Happy every motherfucker being here. You, you don't want a shot. You good? I'd rather, I mean, I, I mean, if you want to no, do what I do, if it's good. a tradition, I gotta do it. It, it is a tradition, Carl. Uh, I'm so I sorry. Trying, I we can pour out your cup and do whatever the fuck you want to do. Let me, let me, let me, let me get a water. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where, 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 where the yeah. shot glass at? Yeah, yeah. Don't drink shot glass. Break your water. Let me get a shot yeah, glass. Yeah, that's that's one right there, but um, that might be too like tall. Yeah. That that's EFN shit, you know. Oh, your friend got his. Yeah, he got his. Oh, you could do that one. Yeah, the plastic joint. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's straight from Doucet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take this. Yeah, yeah, water it down. We respect, we respect this, by the way. By the way, we respect this, by the way. We want everyone to be careful during this motherfucking time. You know what I'm saying? Um, no, we got to. And I just want to tell people, like, I'll it's do not, yeah, do I don't so. think the, the, the shit spiking up is from people from Miami. It's these motherfuckers visiting, man. Get the fuck, so, go back home. So, so it's, a, it's a shot, right? <laughs> yeah, whatever you want, whatever you want. You can do it. Hold on, right, hold on, we got to wait for EFA okay, to come yeah, back. Yeah. Don't, don't, yeah, let's do it together, Kyle, because our show was about bigging up our artists, bro. Nah, and, nah, then, yo, sure. and you are a legend, bro. The shit you've done, you've broken barriers, and you continue to break barriers. There's, there's things that you're doing that people can't do. And I wanted, that's why I was so adamant and so like emotional about having this. It's because it's not because of our audience, it's because your audience. Mm -hmm. I want to show how no, much no, of a legend. And, and no, I want to yeah. say this too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like you're a legend um, for real. You, you, you a legend. And mm -hmm. um, this platform right here, I recommend mm -hmm. every artist that because you know Nori Thank handpicks you. artists to get on here. Let's yes, make that yes, clear. Yes, yes, yes. So I'm honored Everybody with that. Come here. So, but I want to <laughs> I want to say to all the other great artists out there. Mm -hmm. Make sure you do drink champs. Let me tell you mm -hmm. why. This is a sucker free show. Yeah. Um, bullshit, ain't no yeah. whole shit on here. You know, and that's what I love about it is because, you know, we talk about life, mm -hmm. music, um, you give the people their flowers, mm -hmm. and at the same time is you give people information right. they want to know. Right. And you know it's coming from a good place. Yes, it's coming. I'm, you know I'm a saying? player too. And, and, and that's important that we do that for each other, you know what I'm saying? Right. So I got nothing but respect, and I'm honored to be on here. I appreciate well, well, you. Well, thank you so much, my brother. <laughs> so let me just ask you. When you got your first number one, right, was that a feeling like I made it or was it a feeling like it's not enough? Well, um, I was, I've been blessed to have a, a lot of number one, radio number ones. No, no, no. That was no, the greatest it, answer in no, the world. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. You no, understand. No, no, no. Say, that was the greatest No, because answer. people, because there's the Hot 100 number one. Right. Billboard Hot 100 number one, and there's Billboard number one, radio number ones. Okay, but your first number one, like urban and urban. No, like, no so no, I'm saying okay. is. I've been blessed to have a Hot 100 number one, and I've been blessed to have an Urban number one, right. I and, and Rhythmic number one. Right. You know, I don't know why they label Hold it on, should salute. be just Radio number one, but whatever they label it, salute. I've had it. Salute. Oh, hey, you're yeah. okay. Yeah. Right. Cheers, brothers. Yeah. Mm. And the reason why I'm saying that is because I want artists to know it's a blessing to get any number one. Mm. It's not about stunting. Um... But the first time I got my first radio number one was the best feeling in the world, Nori, because I mm. come from radio. Mm. 
And let's be clear. You and Ludacris is probably the only people who've transitioned was successful. We, you know, we love a lot of people who came from radio, transitioned, and went into the artist mode. But a lot of people wasn't taking serious because of. I think him and Luda are different, though. I think that's a no, different. No, I feel like no, I know from radio. He no, I know he no, came no, from radio. What but I mean it's is, no, I'm not. I, what I mean is, a lot of other people came from radio, and then so many people they were so good at radio that people couldn't take them serious. Yeah. And, and this is a, a, a different case yeah. where both of them were great. Do I think? Chris Lovell Lovell was great at radio. This is me. Me, me, I, I, you know, to be, I come from straight the streets. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Um, you know, ground up. I'm not saying nobody else did. I'm just saying, right. like, I came from, EFN is, is a witness to that. No, I but come, you conquered radio yeah, too, I, though. Yeah, no, for sure. Mm. They, you know, they told me I couldn't have a radio show. I had the number one radio show for over like, 13, 14 years. Right. Still to this day, when I put no, on no, right no. now, jams, I, I, I no, hear your that's, voice. I'm, I'm, even your underground radio show is number one radio show. Number one radio show. Well, listen to the night out, jams. Still think you own it. Number one radio show. What I'm trying to tell you is, me, the difference is, for me, I can speak for Coward, is I didn't let nobody put me in a box. Mm. I knew I was going to be Very an important. artist. I knew I was going to be a great DJ. I knew I was going to be a producer. I knew I was going to be an A&R. I knew I was going to be a music exec. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I knew I was going to be a father. Right. I knew I was going to be everything I'm doing now, and I have a lot more still to do. Mm. I knew. And, and when I was coming up, they I had people tell me that you will do none of this shit, and you should only do one thing, and that's it. And I'm mm. like, no, I'm not doing that. Mm. I'm doing everything I want to do, mm. and I'm going to do it big. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So... That's just important, man, because, you know, when it's music, think about it. I used to do street team. I used to do street team for... for. This is the story people need to hear, Kyle. I used to do street team for... Uh, talk about it. You know, Black Moon. Big up my boy Shampoo. You know what I'm saying? I, I used to do everything Shampoo did. Wow. Yeah. Street team. Wow. I, I, do, I did it in Miami, J1s. But I did it before that. Yeah. I'm talking about, like, when before anybody, before you knew me. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Like, I used to do street team. In Orlando? For, for Orlando and, and here. Shout out DJ Nasty. Before you even met yeah. me, I was doing wow. the street team. I was, you know, I come from, I'm hip hop. Mm -hmm. So what I'm trying to tell you is, but music, hip hop music, we could do so many things. Hip hop, we're, we, we're executives. We're marketers. Mm -hmm. We're uh, radio programmers. We're, why can't, you be a DJ and a radio programmer. Mm. Why can't you be a DJ and the biggest music exec Real. ever? Why can't you be a DJ and, and guy that runs real estate? Why mm. can't you? You can do wow. whatever the fuck you want to do. Wow. You know what I'm wow. saying? That's what I'm trying to tell you. But where we come from is hip hop. Wow. And hip hop doesn't have one thing. There's so many things we do. You need a team. Wow. Like, if Nori put an album out, yeah. there's somebody got to promote the album, right? Yep. There's somebody got to pass out the flyers, right? Yep. Everybody got different positions. Why can't we do them all? Right. I did them all. Right. You know what I'm saying? I never relied so, so, on a, I never relied on a promoter to hire me when I used to mm, DJ. Mm, EFN will tell you. Mm, I never relied on a promoter to hire me to mm, DJ. Mm, I promoted my party. My parties, yeah. Mm. And the fans came out and seen me. I became a demand. The promoters want to hire me then. Right. But I still was an entrepreneur doing my parties too. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So what happens now? Because everything you're saying is fucking... So dope, right? But none of us has been experienced with this COVID-19 thing, right? None of us, right? Yeah. What's so the new business you, model? Yeah, what's the new business model of trying, of how, how you promote your new product now? Let's suppose, because, you know, you, you said you couldn't really give us all the information of what happened. But let's suppose your strategy of promoting your next single is going to the clubs, going to Tipico, going to, you know... Uh, uh, the Tipico? Uh, uh, I'm gonna sorry. Go to Tipico? The, the Dominican jumped out of me. I'm sorry. Dominican Boulevard. Boulevard, you know... We should all go you know to Tipico. I mean? uh, uh, Talasana. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, let's suppose that's how you usually do it. Like, you go to Club Mangoes and you go to, you know, yeah. whatever, whatever, right? Right. But now we can't do that. How do we... I mean... We have well, Drake. We've made it clear that we have Drake yeah, on the next single. Yeah, but how do you? Yeah, that's clear. How do you? How do you? Um, Are you shift? thinking about the next um, business model? Yeah. How do, how we, do you promote? We let that plane go by. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I love your professionalism. It's a live show. We ain't playing. Yeah, with yeah. This we ain't shit. playing them, right? Um, mm. I never. Right now, the pandemic. Mm. Thank you, God. I am so grateful for you, right. because. You know, I know it's hard times for a lot of people. Right. And it's tougher. Right. But I know we're going to come out this stronger, better, and greater. Mm-hmm. Because 
this is gonna make us greater because we're, right. we're all experiencing the same thing at the same time. It's like Ramadan for the world. For the world. So now... Did I just kill that for like that was I, mass? I, I'm sorry. Yeah, that was beautiful. <laughs> yeah. okay. I, me coming up in the game, I never relied on a show mm. to pay my bills. Mm. Even though meaning you going out and doing I mean, shows, even though I'm booked seven days a week. God damn it, told that show. I'm talking about, I'm talking about not right now because yeah, nobody yeah. can do it. What I'm saying is, but I always told myself, never rely on that shit right. mm. because God forbid mm. something like this happen, you're in trouble. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I never relied. That's why I always do so many things. It goes back to me saying, don't just do one thing. Right. Um, I feel like the pandemic. Social media is more than anything right now, right? Mm -hmm. And always the big thing, because social media is, is, is runs everything, relied, basically. More, right. But more than yep. ever now, correct? Right. Yep. So what I'm saying is content goes through social media. Mm -hmm. Messages go through social media. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we hope everybody puts out positivity through social media. Unfortunately, you have some negatives that we don't want to see, but we want more positive. What I'm trying to tell you is, we have to now be creative, you know what I'm saying, like through social media. Yes. I did the other day, I did three Zoom concerts. Mm. Mm. They hired me for three Zoom concerts. Right. You know what I'm saying? It was, did a show from my backyard. Wow. You know, did a Cali artist set slash DJ set. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Did that. Um, if it's promoting something, we use our social media. We got, if it's music, you know what I'm saying? Um, thank God. You know, the world changed, it's on streaming now. You listen to your music. It's not like you, you rely on to jump on your car to listen to music. Mm -hmm. You can just grab your phone and listen right. to music. There's no right. excuse. Right, yeah. You know, but, you, now, you, but, but this shows you who's... A hustler. Right. It shows really? you who's a hustler. Right now we're doing Drink Champs. We're going to be able to stream this on Title, correct? Yes. We're, we're going to be able to see this on Revolt, correct? Yes. And you can hear it. Hear it. Hear it. Hear it. Okay, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So we not stop hustling. Now think about it. Right. You built this, right. you're still going to be able to... Matter of fact, you might have more viewers now. That's what they say. Right. Because everybody's sitting down. Well, you would hope everybody's content sitting is king down. Right, now. right content, right. boom, boom. But you have to look past this shit. Me, I look past yeah. the pandemic. Yep. Right now, I'm looking to build my empire. Right now, I'm at a place in my life where we're so blessed that I'd be crazy not to level up even more. Mm. Talk that, that, means, talk, that, that means I'd be just... Lazy. Right. I can't do that. I'm about to go to the... I'm a student of Jay-Z. Mm. Puff Daddy. That says a lot right there. Mm. Uh, shout out to my brother Joe Crack. Mm. Um, and I'm student to, like, you know, Jay-Z, Puff, and Joe. These are my brothers. Right. I'm talking about, like, a Quincy Jones I look up to, a Dr. Dre I look up to. Right. I am a student. I'd be crazy where I'm at in my career right now, to where I'm at, not to fucking level up even more. Yes, right. that's a fact. I know what I got to do. I'm that's about to level fact. up. I'm about to take it to the next level. That's a you fact. Gonna see the, and it's a new decade. So we got to go to the next level. So I'm looking past this shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, but we got we to we, we, we learn a lot from what happened with this pandemic. Mm -hmm. We have to learn because we're not in the club. No, we're not. We're not in the stadium. We're not in the arena. We're not hosting a, uh, uh, doing you know, a walkthrough. Diversify. But what happens to the rappers that oh, their life is based on just They have to the diversify. Put out music. Right. Put, put out hits. Oh. Put out great music. And I recommend you to put out music. And I recommend and I, and I big up every artist out there. Y'all, everybody doing an amazing job. I'm inspired by everybody. Right. You know what I mean? Um, I want to I wanna push all of us, Real all sure. of us, to do even more. Um, put out records that gonna be we can hear 20 years from now. Mm. Let's put out records that we can hear 20 years from now. When I make records, I make sure I try my hardest, and I hope that it connects, that it can play 20 years from now. All right, timeless. Mm. You know, you talk about we taking over. That's a long time ago. I love that. You, you know, record. what I'm saying all I do is win. That's a long time yeah. ago. Ooh. Wild thoughts. That's a long time ago. Re I'm I'm on one. That's a long time ago. Ooh. You know, your Ooh. records. Those are classics. Ooh. They play forever, and us as producers, DJs, and artists, we're all doing great. Right. All doing great. We are blessed. Right. Let's push each other even harder now. Right. Let's, let's, you know, icons like you, y'all right. open these doors and uh, other great icons. But when I listen to those records, I'll be like, damn. You know what I'm saying? I want to make sure I can hear my record mm. 
100 years from now. Yes, yeah, true. 20 years from now. Beautiful shit. I, I, you know what I'm saying? That's so important. You know what I'm saying? Because I heard Dr. Dre, I think he said a lot of um, quantity, but we need more. Um, quality? Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's just because it's so much. Uh -huh. And right. everybody's doing such a great job right. because hip hop has grown. Right. And that's a blessing to know that hip hop grows. Hip hop is everywhere. Not just um, no, it's um, music, we on just, TV. Hip hop is it, hip hop is everywhere. That's a blessing. We just and let's keep let's, let's keep let's keep being grateful and and for the opportunity. So and let's, let's keep doing what hip hop did for us. Let's do for hip hop. Yeah, let's, absolutely. Let's, let's, you know what I just I see Snoop post a picture with him and Dr. Dre back in the studio. I love that and Kanye. picture. And, and, no, no, I, I mean I'm just talking about oh. Snoop in the um, yeah. Dre picture, right? Because we we don't know what Kanye. I would love to Kanye, hear a Snoop Dr. Dre album. Yeah, we don't know what a Kanye and Dr. Dre album looks, right? But when you see the Snoop and um, Dre, so many people hit me and be like, "Yo, what's up? You on Pharrell? Like, we don't know. I who you think? Who you think is your like I mean, go-to I mean, guy? I mean, I mean, like, when it's the time for a hit, who is your number one? I mean, I don't want you to be biased. I like want a you collab be real. Just, for me? Yeah, for you. This is for you. I mean, this is your I mean, interview, I got, brother. I got, it's, no, I'm, I'm now, I want you to pick one. I, no, no, no. You got to be careful. You got to be careful now. Do we do it? Because the thing is, I got, I got so many beautiful friends. All right, but listen. And so many right. beautiful friends that we make hits together. All right, but right now. I, I, I can't answer. He can't do that. That's I, 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 I can't do that. <laughs> no, I can't. No, because I got too much love because right. obviously I make massive hits with Drake. Right. I make massive hits with Jay. um Jay Z and Beyonce. Right. I make massive hits with Rihanna. Right. I make massive hits with Lil Wayne. I make right. massive hits with Ross. I make massive right. hits with Future. I make massive hits with uh Chris Brown. I make right. I got too many artists that I work so with that I love. So what's your what's your number one dream record? Maybe it's if somebody you never had before. Let's talk about the people Let's you never had. Let's talk about yeah, somebody you I never you worked with Andre 3000. I'm his, I'm, I'm his friend. Be, yeah. We've talked several times. He cleared my sample for my last album. Um, um, I've um, always wanted. Sorry, Mr. Jackson. Yeah, I wanted to record. I wanted, I wanted to do she a song. Killed that. Thank you. Thank she you. Killed that. I want to. I, want I to called do you a couple of times. Told yeah, you that nah, my favorite nah, record of the summer. You. Appreciate I showed you. I was. I was also showing you videos that I'm so glad you ain't posted me because I was. I was dancing to it. I said, please don't post this. You were shimmying. I love this record though. But I'm sorry. I want to work with Andre. You know what I'm saying? Um. I want to work with Rihanna again. You mm. know what I'm saying? I want to work with Rihanna again. It's like it's something I really, really want to do um, for a lot of reasons. I'm a fan. I love her. She, 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 she shows me so much love. But we made such a big record together. We made such a big record together. And I believe in, you know, when you got that great chemistry, you know what I'm saying? Why not give him a, <coughs> keep it going. another one? Yeah, right. keep it going. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's, let's do another one. You know what I'm saying? So it's like... I would love, I, you know, um, I want to do something with Dr. Dre. Me and, you know, I always told Dre. <coughs> I always what I'm told gonna, Dre. That's what I'm going to hear. Me and Dre have talked several times, and he told me, when you're ready, come yeah. check me. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. So I'm like, I want to make sure when I come to him, I come with something that we can collaborate, you know, that would make history. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like those, I think those, those are great names. Let me ask you, the ne let's just say the next DJ Khaled, the kid that wants to be just like you. What is the business model that you do that nobody understands? How does a DJ producer make money doing these projects? That's a good, great question. Because um, people would say, "Well, you maybe you got to pay the, all the features." Well, I mean, when, pay I mean, a producer. I mean, I mean, as a producer, like if you you know getting beats on people's albums. Me, when I came up in the game, I I didn't charge no one. Mm. Right, but your project. Let's say your no, project. I'm talking about, I'm talking about, I just want to say is like. And a lot of, um, I didn't charge no one, but I got my publishing. You wanted to get the placements. Yeah, yeah. Wait, I wanted the placements. Beats wise? Or? Beat wise, I yeah, never really charged nobody. Because he's going to get the publishing. And if somebody on the back paid end. me, it's because they love me That's and they the just paid end. me no matter what, and right. I didn't ask for it. Mm. Um, but about they, I would get my publishing, you know what I'm saying? Um, so, you know. Once, well, why did you do that? I mean, I just felt like I wanted to pay forward. my dues and keep going. And it's, and it's like, do I care about $10,000? Do I care about fifteen? Do I care about 5000 And then the time will come 20, 30, 40. It grows, but I'm talking right. about. But I knew that I would get my publishing and, and I know my relationship will grow. And I know if you have That's a real. good relationship, even if you don't charge, they want you to make money. Wow. Because it's, I'm not saying you know, it's wrong to charge. Right. I'm just saying at the end of the day is, you know. You're building relationships. Yeah, and, and I'm right. talking about when I first started. And I still do it. Wow. Wow. Like, like if I'm, if right now, if I gave you a record, I'm not charging you. Right. Like, I'm not charging Noriega. Right. I know I'm gonna get my publishing, whatever right. more. That's right. you know we go. So is that, that the business model for the full albums? 
On my albums, it's, it's, each thing is different. Um, 99%, 99.9% is relationships. Right, beautiful. But we do make money together because we own our publishing. publishing His publishing, right. her publishing, my right. publishing, and we all split our publishing, and we pray the record get big. If the record get big, that, that money you was going to give them is peanuts compared to the money right. that will grow wow. when the shit Real is shit. huge. Real you shit. know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying... Oh, don't charge for your beats. Mm. Nah, but I know if you have a good relationship with artists, you know, that artist, if you make so many records, you don't have to tell him to uh, pay. He's going to pay you because he want it. He just, he just, he, he love you. Right. Or she love you. You know what I'm saying? But yes, you can charge. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying, me, I didn't. Right. Cala Cala didn't. Now, if I don't know you, get him. Like, if, you, if I don't know you, right, right. Yeah, it's different. But the takeaway is that publishing, is the long term. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the long term. It's, it's forever. That's why I tell you to make right. records that last forever. Right. right. Make copyright records. Like, every day I get 100 emails about somebody wanting to license my records. Every day I get, like, I, if I don't get 20 emails a day about songs that want to get licensed, every day I get it. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? License, license, license. But that's just a certain part of, of earnings. There's other earnings. You know what I'm saying? Radio performances, you know, you know licensing, um, you know, just the uh, royalties off the albums, how much it sells. And, you know, obviously, if it's your own album, you got to recoup what you put in. Right. Mm. And then you start profiting after you put in. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Um, so some people like to spend big, you mm. know what I mean? And then, uh, you know, if you make timeless music, you're going to make the money back plus a lot more. That's why it's so amazing to have catalog. I have a big catalog. I got 11 albums. So imagine all those records... A lot of those records on each album, at least three or four, are big hits. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? So I'm saying they last forever. Mm. Thank you, God. You know what I'm saying? Like, Thank you, God. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the key. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's the key. Like, forever, you're going to hear the records you and Pharrell did forever. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's yeah. nothing, you know what I mean? It's just the way it is. Lee, please, buddy. Yeah, how you sober and walking into <laughs> shit? I don't understand. Let, let, leave that for the drunk people, bro. You're bugging. So, <clears throat> call it. What is your favorite part of the game, man? Like, like is it is it is it making the records, or is it performing the records? And that's a trick question my, for my, you. My my favorite part of the game is when they tell me I can't do something. Mm. Meaning. They say you can't do it again. You can't make this record. You can't pull this off. You can't do this. You can't do that. You can't. You you can't become this. You can't that. Mm. If you don't know Cali by now, if you tell me that, that might be the worst thing you ever said in your life. Because so now people it's doubt gonna, you saying. Yeah, now it's, it's gonna get done, and you just fuel me to do it better. Yeah, it's like it's like you play yourself. Mm. You play yourself. You know what I'm saying? Why? Right. So, <clears throat> we're all going on. Did you see what happened with Swiss and uh, uh, Drake? I seen um, the blogs. Right, the blogs. Yeah, I seen and, the blogs. And that was, do, do you think that, um, because you have a wonderful relationship with Drake, right? Beautiful relationship. Beautiful relationship My brother. with Drake. So and what, I have a relationship with Swiss Beats. Beautiful relationship. Beautiful relationship. Yes. So I can't see where they went wrong. Do you? I don't know nothing about it. I don't know nothing about it. No, I swear on my mom and my kids. I, I don't know nothing I, about I, it. I call 40. Hold I, on, I don't know nothing sure. about it. Um, right. um, but, you know, I always pray for it to heal. Right. If it's, um, um, I don't know what they, what it is. I don't. Right. So I, I couldn't That's even, I can't even comment on it. But right. as a, as a friend, as a brother, I they wish the love sides, and the beautiful right? guys, yeah. and I pray to God that it gets healed. You know what I'm saying? Um, I respect that. Yeah, that's, that's it. Yeah. That's, that's, beautiful that's, people. I spoke to Swiss and I spoke to Forty. Um, I didn't get a sp uh, chance to speak to Chubbs. Um, Great guy. Um, uh, Buster told me he spoke to Chubbs. But I wanted to nip that in the bud immediately like, as, as a person that's a hip-hop ambassador. You should do that because, you know, people no, love no, you. No, I, I try to. I try I, immediately. And, that's um, beautiful. I do it all the time. Yeah, I do it all the time. Yeah. Like, that, that, that's just what it is. That's why I brought up, you know, the Jeezy and um, yeah. Ross thing earlier yeah. is because I feel like we need more people like us. The thing is, we respect love. Of course. We don't want course. anything no, we, else. Listen, guys. Yeah. We want love, man. All right. 
You know what I mean? Straight up. We, especially yeah. in a time like this. Look yeah. what's going on in the world. Word. Like, if you don't want love right now, mm. and you ain't ever been about love, that's, that's what's going to make the world survive. Is love. It's real shit. You know what I'm saying? We got to unify. We got to be together. We need it. Listen, Especially the hip-hop union. Listen, I know you hear Khaled say love all the time. I mean it. Right. I live it. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's important that we love each other. You know, we all human. We all human. Right. We all sometimes get out of character. Sometimes it's and that and that. But we need somebody beside us to either fix it or heal it up. But we need it. We, we got to love each other. And I know... It sound easy, but I, 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 we, we, we gotta love each other, man. Look at the world going through, man. God forbid, tomorrow they say aliens in this motherfucker now. No, you know, this next. and that. Like that's I don't know. Next. Like I'm just being. I got kids. You know what I'm saying? You know, I got kids, so I look at uh, everything different. Uh, I look at everything different. Um, you know. So I a lot of times I don't even like doing interviews because I don't want to be asked about somebody else's stuff. All right, all right. You know, and I'm not saying because you brought it up now. I'm just saying it's like because at the end of the day, is you, your show is with love, so I know no, it's, it's super beautiful. Love. But people it's like to switch shit up and twist shit up and do nah, suck no, our free shows and love. I mean, you know, on. suck it shit and whole shit. Right. Not you. I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. But that's what that's how this game is. Right. And we don't need that. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know, we got we, we got to be to grown. Straighten it up. Like the, uh, the thing is, like for one thing, like when you kept posting, right? Um, uh, no more shots. Uh, one more I'm shot. Down. Let's do it. I got one more shot left in me. A couple more questions, and that's it, Colin. But yo, we've been waiting for you. Let me just tell you something, bro. You a legend. Can you dispel your the rumor that you thought it was he wasn't coming because of me? Yeah, I, I, I don't know <laughs> what happened. This is him saying this the whole like, time. I, you know what? I had to bother my partner. Right? No, I had he's to, a fan. No, no, no. Listen, I had to. I had actually, to. actually. Was super excited to do this show because I know he knows a lot of the history of, from, from the beginning. Yeah, from the beginning. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like you know, Club Cream and right. just you know he knows about all the you know we used to uh, go right there Fifth and Washington and um, get our records, records from record yeah. promoters yeah. from the back of the trunk. You know, it's so much rest history. And this Doc is Fresh. where we we all yeah, thought Doc all Fresh, of you guys were just yeah. go go DJs. We, I'm sorry. <laughs> What'd you say? That's how we all thought of all of you guys. That we were go go DJs in, in I mean. DC and Baltimore. Booty shake shit. That's, that's not go go. It's, no, it's uh, Miami base. It's I'm different so sorry. than go go. Miami base. I'm sorry. That's yeah, it. Nah, yeah. Kind of. I'm sorry. <laughs> Relax. I'm, I'm, we I'm, love that. We love that. gonna jump me right now. No, 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 shout out to go go <laughs> DJs, but we not go go DJs. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> bass music was different. Like we just come from New York. Yeah, it's Miami shit. Yeah, hell yeah, man. It's a part of our culture. Yeah, what the fuck is going on? That's why we talking about Uncle Al down. Yeah, Uncle Al, big him up. And what, what what are you drinking again? A michelada? Michelada. I, I, I love it. Gotta go meet you. I'm about to come out with my own. We version. got Ace of Spade. My own cup. Kyle got. I don't know what kind of spritzer he got. We doing a shot or what, buddy? I'm I'm in with a shot. I'm in. Let's go. I'm in. Um, whatever shot. Kyle want. Make sure you I'm disinfect a, a, everything. A, 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 you gotta do one more shot, Kyle. You gotta do it. Puff Daddy did 14. All right, all right. <laughs> Listen, don't don't put him on that yeah, stand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not trying to that put you in. That is not fair. I'm not trying to put you in a Puff Daddy <laughs> state. But yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right, damn. Where the fuck is my shot? Right here, right. Oh, this one? I'm going to do say again? All right. Cool. Kyler went to say. I'm going to do say. All right, cool. I would like to rock with this. I'm way too late. Yo, but Kyler, man, it took this long, and we. I just want to tell you to your face, you're a legend. Anytime you want to say your shit, when you want to announce that really... Drake in the name of it. We you don't make have it, to. Make it you don't have to go. You don't have to go to Ellen. Cheers. <laughs> now nah, go to Ellen, please. Keep pushing the envelope forward. No, fuck that. You know we got Sorry. love for everybody, but of course we got love for um. This home to base. Our brothers. Our brothers. Uh, let me this, finish. This home base. You're the, you're, the, you're the greatest speech maker, but let me just make my speech. We love Ellen. Ellen. I only been on Ellen up. once. She has. I she hasn't brought me back. I only been once. Uh, that was huge, though. Uh, was, yeah, a little bit. That was I, huge. I, I, I took a little mad. I was like, damn, nigga could fly to L.A. And I, we home team, bro. For sure. I just want you to know that, like, Drink Chats is born and raised in, in Miami. And whenever you want to talk your shit, whenever you don't want to talk some shit, you just want to spread some shit, this is, the, this is the platform you deserve, bro. Your brother's my brother. And I don't only get any personal than that because you, we know our relationship. But we family, bro. For sure. We family, and you're For a big sure. figure. Sometimes I think you I think you downplay who you are, too. Like, you just be like, ah, cool, whatever. 
But when you sit down with us, it gives us a platform, too. We got our own platform. No, I appreciate it. We got to support each other. We have to support each 100%. other. 100%. But we, we, uh, okay. 100%, you know what I mean? Um, you know, it might have took us a long time to get here, mm -hmm. but um, I always believe, you know, when the time is the right time. Um, but, believe in job. And, 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 yeah, that's right. And, um, you know, I always wanted, to, when I wanted to do this show, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, I always wanted to do it um, mm -hmm. a certain way, but I thought about it, and after me and you spoke, I'm like, you know what? You know, this is the way he do it. You know what I'm right. saying? And guess what? Right. It goes back to what we were talking earlier, and right. I respect that. So I'm just happy that we're doing it. And it's and not the like last it. time you're doing it. Yeah. Let me just say you something. Back. I'm not fronting on college. The college didn't avoid the show. He just wanted to do it in a big way. Yeah, I was he trying wanted, to... He was like, y'all, but rent a yacht. No, but stop yacht. You kept putting <laughs> it on me. Like, you were like, you don't like me. I wanted to be on the yacht. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? White teeth, flip flops. And the thing was, God bless me, because I want to keep it real, because this is Drink Champs. At the time when you said what you said about Tyler, right? Yeah. I don't know if it was about Tyler. I'm not, we're not saying that. But whatever the thing was, what happened was I had to look out for you as a brother. No, I appreciate that. And as a brother, I was like, at that moment, if we would have been on some yacht or whatever like that, that's not what Kyle is. I need to know. I don't need to introduce our people to who we know from the beginning. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, and, at the end of the day is, like I said earlier, Anybody speak bad on Khaled, right. you got to look at him. No, but I also no, no, have I'm to saying, protect... No, no, I'm saying this. Right. But at the end, no, I appreciate that. Mm. I'm very grateful for that. Mm. But at the end of the day, is I want to be clear. Mm. I have no problem with no one. Yes. Um, Beautiful. And I got love for everybody. The only time I'm going to have a problem with somebody, mm. if you play with me and my family. Right. No, and you know no what I'm saying? And, you know, that's anyone, correct? Right. right. Yeah, yes, absolutely. of course. So what I'm saying is... It ain't that serious. Right. We too blessed, man. I'd be crazy. I right. will refuse. I refuse to complain. Right. There's right. no way. God has blessed me and you and everybody here. Right. Right. We are too right. blessed. I'm not trying to sound like a preacher. I'm just no. being real. You're sounding real. Especially in a time like this, we have to real. come together. So, again, any messages on this show know that we mean nothing but love. Goddamn. Make it fucking Hold on. Let me, let me. Quick, quick little story. So, my family in L.A., I have a godson slash nephew, and he tells me who is he. I'm like, yo, uh, he's like, I love music. I love, I love DJs. I go, yeah, who's your favorite DJ? And I'm waiting for him to say EFF. <laughs> DJ Khaled. Yeah, that's I'm like, God, well, at least you picked the home team. <laughs> that's, right, that's, right, that's right, that's right. So, so, and then now it started to show me. Yeah, that started to show me, and this was, this is, I'm talking about years ago, Khaled. No, no, that's you know, not. You know, and then a little, little kid, little kid, two, three-year-old kid. So it started to show me the level you we were going. I always told him, I was like, it's, it makes me so proud to see the home team growing, to see where we, where we could take this. We've seen what no. we, Like, this is what all I want. All of us. Yo, I'm going to tell you right now, I look at everybody, we, our, our, you know, when we all came up. That's what I'm talking about, the era. Yeah, everybody. You look at everybody, we all so blessed. He, he, like, I'm looking at everyone. Like, we super blessed, man, like... Um, I, I feel like Miami, we special. You know what I'm saying? We just, we just special. Look at all us doing. We all got big platforms. We all came up. We all, um, and we're still doing hip hop. Right. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like, I just think it's incredible. Did like, you, did you think, and be honest, coming from moving down from Orlando, did you see this vision for yourself? Um, like what was yeah, what, what when did I you moved see? Miami, you when I moved to Miami. Um, I knew it um, because I knew my hustle. I knew if I was just do what I do, me as in, I knew, I, I, I mean this in a humble way, I knew I was, I was great on the you table. You talked it, I remember you talking yeah, it on talk, the, on, on the existence. you were talking and it. I was, I knew, and I knew my hustle would inspire others, but at the same time as I knew I had to do it because I had no choice, meaning as in like, you know what I mean, if I want to be able to, to have a family one day, you know, this and that and that, I gotta provide and I gotta work hard. And if I wanna live my dream, right. I can't dream it. I gotta I gotta bring it to life. So I just knew my 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 hustle and my talent was 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 a force. You know what I'm saying? And um I'm just I'm blessed that uh that everybody just like I said, like we said support. You supported me, I supported you. Yeah, absolutely. Um we, we dealt with certain promoters and you know, we was loyal to certain people. You know what I'm saying? And, and look how far it, it took us by right. being loyal. Yeah. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Um, and, you know, when you're so loyal and you're a good person, people love when you grow. 
Mm -hmm. uh. Because they have nothing bad to say about you. Right. And they know those days when it was really raining. Right. They always right. think about that one person. And, you know, I have a lot of friends that when it was raining, for me and them, I was there and they were there. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, I know that go a long way. You know what I mean? Right. Now, real talk. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you know everybody that know me, I'm still friends with everybody. 90, about 90% 90 of them. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Some, of course, you know what I'm saying? You know... It just, you know, it don't go right or something like that. But at the end of the day, ain't no love loss. Right, right. You know, sometimes it's love Different from a paths. distance. Right, right. You know what I mean? That's, that happens with everyone, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But um, at the end of the day, man, we bless. You you know that he was supposed to be in the temple. Do you remember that story? I, I, I remember I wanted Nori bad, but I knew I was going through you. No, no, you got mad at us. No, because I know we can't get him if we don't go through you. No, that wasn't the truth. That's not the way it happened. But what, I mean, I remember, like, I knew I wanted Nori so I'm bad. I'm relax. No, 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 no. This is a positive story. No, no, it's not. No, no, this is a positive story. It's like, but in it's the 90s, It's just history, but it's history. It's, it's, is it 98? This yeah. is what, 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 with the blue shirt? Yeah, yeah. you had the already come to my store, but you were doing the CNN promo. This was your first Miami show as N-O-R-E. Okay. And I'm so high, I don't remember And nothing. this is, this so is ill, and rest in peace, roll up, because he was yeah. in the middle of all this. And it was a discrepancy where you thought, literally, you thought that we had took Nori from your bill. Because we had dealt with violence. I, I, I think we, I think we did promote him, and it, and it got cut off. No, no, you had you had gone on Mix ninety six, and you said I'm gonna announce a surprise guest. Right. But and then that's how the, big the temple was. Yeah, was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you were you were hyping the surprise guest, and we wanted that Nori right. bad. But while you're doing that, that crazy. I'm dealing with Violator. I'm doing regular. I didn't know Nori. You yet. Have to do Street Team for Violator. Yeah, I didn't too. know really either one of y'all niggas. Like, but I'm just saying that's, <laughs> this is what I think is ill about this situation <laughs> yeah, of us yeah, sitting here. Know, this was double about us about sitting here. Like a little bit. So we all come to the record room and we all met to get records at Cream and all that. Yeah, for sure. And then you step to Eddie. He was like, Yo. Y'all did me dirty. And no, and we had just, that day we had just sent the deposit. We had just cleared everything with Violator. So we were happy. We didn't know anything. I, and it, sounds, it sounds true, because I'm a- No, I'm it's 100% true. No, 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 because, no, I'm a, I have I'm a, no idea what you're talking always, about. always, oh, thank yeah. you. I'm so honest. Mm. Like if I, I don't know how to hold nothing in. It's real shit. No, you berated Eddie. No, I come, no, no, I come, I come to the person, Good. and it be love afterwards. It's just really? about I have to get it out my chest so I know if it's really love or not. Right. Man, right. I'm gonna think like, yo, you tried me. No, I'm you berated Eddie. And if you try me, we we throwing down or we not throwing down. And if we end up not throwing down, it's all love. All right, cool. It, it almost went down, but we, we were, it was all love at the end of the day. I, I it. it was all love at the end of the day, and it was love after that because people told me. I was like, nah, yeah. we, me and Kelly, we uh, been uh, had. Man, uh, since then, like that it? was this is, uh, late '90s or early 2000. Oh, it was the first show, his first show ever in Miami. It's crazy. It's definitely. Yeah, we did it at uh, Warsaw. Remember Warsaw? Mm -hmm. Warsaw. Oh, yeah. Shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember Warsaw. That was, and, and I was just stressed you because know how many people bails I went through violence and I had to go through all that process. I, you know how many people bails I paid from Warsaw? I don't <laughs> listen. I don't know which one of y'all had the show. But I no, it was paid me. It, no, seven no, bells no, no. First of all, it was Warsaw. Listen, it was your show. You guys hired me to help you put it together. Is it was, a CNN show? It was when Pone got out. That's not at Warsaw. 97. Yeah, yeah, no. Both of those shows. 98. 98 when you guys yeah. bust in everybody from no, left right? 98. No, no, no. All right. It got to be 99 now. No, it was 98. Come on, Warsaw. Yes. When Pone came home. Anything at Warsaw was me doing the show. When Pone came home. Yeah. Y'all yeah. hired yeah. me to do the show. Yeah, it couldn't have been 98. Oh, whatever, guy. You don't remember the date. <laughs> no, nah, I don't. I but remember that Pong date. Came home 99. Everybody got locked up that trip. Yeah, it's 99. It's late 98. Maybe. It could be late 98. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, I paid, that's what I said. It's paid mad people bail. It's crazy. <laughs> I had to bail for You didn't understand what I said? I paid Boris seven Boris had to go with fake yeah. ID. It wasn't Boris. Yeah, but Boris had to lie. go with fake ID. That's when I started. I fell in love with ID. I said, um, Miami. I said, yo, you could get locked up and just pay for a bail. But they don't, they don't really fingerprint you at this time. All right, let's not go time. there. All right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's leave it alone. Let's leave it alone. Anyway, this is a beautiful thing. Yeah, it's it's a beautiful history thing, in the making man. right it's here. We appreciate you. A lot of great you. stories. And the thing is that it's crazy because, um, right. you know, I'm sure part two going to be even yeah, greater. We need, no, no, we, listen, listen we're doing many. part 17 yeah, it's too million. Many, it's too many, but listen. I'm grateful to be on this show, and um, right. I'm excited. I can't wait to this huh. shit to drop. Mm. Next week. Next week. Yo, but I just want to tell you, bro. Because we brothers, and y'all brothers and everything. And sometimes we wait for the right time. It's just like, it's like, it's like you know, and a person take, want to take their shahada, right? 
they want to wait for the right time to take the shahada, right? But the right time is never the right time because none of us is never going to be perfect. So I just want to extend that to you and oh, let nah. you know that. Fair. Spring champs, we here. Sometimes you want to talk. Nah, nah, hopefully, nah. hopefully you understand the power that we have from this. We this did shit. this. We did this. You know, I don't want to go into deeper, uh, you know, depth yeah. of, of, you know, dumb shit, but I, we did enough, but we love you, Kyle. Man, I love you, too, you, man. man proud I appreciate you. And we're proud of you. Listen, and, both of y'all legends yeah. to me and y'all mm. legends to the world, obviously, mm. but, you know, personally, I know y'all, you know what I'm saying? Mm. And, like, yes. you know, me and this brother go way back. Me mm. and you go way back. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, you, you well, chose one of your best friends. That's my... Well, but, it's blood to me. Right. You're know saying um, his bless. daughter is, is my uh -huh. goddaughter. Yeah, his God son is my, family. is my yeah. son's yeah, best my family. friend. Yes. You know, you have a beautiful wife, beautiful yes. family. We yes. love y'all. Thank you. I love you. Know what I'm saying? I, love, um, I love your wife. I love you know, everyone. I love, um, so, I love your housekeeper. So listen, thank you. <laughs> so I'm going to tell you right now, you're know saying like, uh, uh. not only is this a beautiful place to be at, right. I'm encouraging everyone. Right. Remember, Nora and EFN, they handpick right. who comes on the show. But we have to. But... If you get the call, don't right. play yourself. Yeah, don't play yourself. That's yeah. it. But goddamn, goddamn. But I just want to thank you um, from the bottom of both of us because, again, we just want to reiterate. You know, sometimes, you know, you gonna want to get some shit off your text after we get off quarantine because we still about to go on to another version of quarantine. When you get it, come time to get some of your chest. Yeah, no, we you don't gotta go. You ain't gotta go to Apple. This is home, man. We home. Because home. you know what, Kyle did has. I don't want to seem like I don't want to seem like Kyle's been fronting on us or or avoiding us. The the problem was Kyle was doing the right thing, but he was trying to say, let me do something different. Yes. Let, let me put you on the oh yacht. Yeah, that's just and let that's me just do that. I, 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 I mean, get I, it. I get and it. And I was like, not for the first one. Yeah, for I the get first it. one. But we got we got like, we got to do a yacht one one day. Look, we're gonna do a yacht do one. one. No, no, no that, that's you why I'm reiterating it. I'm saying we're ready. Yes, yeah. 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 sun is ready to spearfish and everything. I'm done quarantine. Yeah, but Kyle, we might we might be. Go catching yeah. sharks and shit. I'm in. Yeah, I'm in. Okay. Like, I, mean, I, I, I don't know, I'm know if you know how me and Joey Crack do it. Like, we do a double yacht. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You already know. Like, he get his yacht, I get my yacht. Let's do uh, it. I believe he pull up to your crib one time. Yeah. He has yacht, I have it. my yacht. Let's do so it. after that, I do I do a That's double yacht. I, I do a double yacht. <laughs> no, listen, listen, Kyle. I, just, I don't know if you understand. I live a life too. A big you know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> no, listen, nobody lives a life like Noriega. No, 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 don't say that. If you want to know what's, like, if you're hungry, look at Nori's uh, Instagram. Yeah, yeah, listen, listen, man. If you want to see a life like, if, if, if somebody's hard. happy, look at Nori. I work hard. I'm like, Nori lives a life with a lot. He got happy. his routine. <laughs> yes. And it's yes, quarantine I'm, right now. It's fucking yeah. up a lot of shit, but mm. he got a routine mm. on each day. We yeah. under six Italian, on a yacht, double fish, yacht. Lobsters. Yes, yes, that's a fact. That's a fact. Yo, congrats on your son. I just had my son. Oh, Yo, yes, y'all both got two kids. What, Jeez kid? Louise. No, no, my second. Oh, my, yes. My yes. daughter's a toddler, and I got yeah. my son a couple weeks ago. Beautiful. God bless, man. God we bless. bless. Isn't that right, man? Because uh, for a lot of years, I didn't know y'all shit worked and shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then I realized, oh, shit, y'all can have kids. All right, cool. Because, you know, y'all had kids a little later. Let's be clear. Let's be clear. <laughs> we were ready. Both of y'all, let's be clear. Like, y'all had kids a little later. I'm sorry, Kyle. I went, I went too far. No, no, like, true. Just tell true. me. Just tell me. But you know what? Mm -hmm. Best thing that ever happened in my life is my kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. same here. I do everything for my kids. That's why... Um, Again, everything is love because uh, thank to my thank my kids for everything is love. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Because if I didn't have kids, I right. probably would be a little, no, you a little, you a little. Laugh. But I'm saying like my kids. That's right. It's when you have kids, will change your life. You know what I'm saying? Because right. it's not about Coward. Yeah. It's about my kids and my queen. I gotta take care of them. And not just that. You know what I say on this mic represents mm. my kids. Right. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I, you know, again, we're all human. You know, you know, we all yeah. human. Yeah, we, but uh, at the end of the day is got nothing but love. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. Are you you use your role game? Nah, this is this is this is uh, a new Beijing mm. that Fat Joe got. Yo, yeah, he got his I, new, I knew he had it. Thank new, you. Thank that's you, the Puerto bro. Rican in Fat Joe, bro. <laughs> so this, I, I, I'm thank you, bro. Because he, he been acting like this whole quarantine. Puerto Rican in Beijing, this, bro. This, this What's is, going on? This is Ross Beard Oil. Ross Beard Oil. And then, like, Joe got this. I've been using Wait, Ross? Sample. Ross got his own beard, own beard oil? beard oil. But then um, Joe got this 
Okay, I'll get it twisted, you know. I, you know, I just put a little to make it, you know, when you get a fresh cut, you wash it two days, you know, then it wash out. But my shit gotta be always right, like right, a, right, fresh. Right. Right, yeah, I got okay. my cut this morning. It's and then, drink champs. Right, right, right. And then, and then Patrick gave you the Beijing. I mean, yeah, yeah Joe got this. It's, I got samples right now. It's not mm. out yet. It's about to come. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't I even want to call wait. it Beijing. It's not really Beijing. It's a special. It's a special alert. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what Joe's gonna call it, but it's a sample I got, and I love it because, mm. like, you put it in and it makes it right, and then you wash it like one wash, two wash. It's just it goes back to your natural vibe, but at the same time it's got this glow. I got something for you. And I got white that, jing. And white got, jing is gonna hook you that, up, bro. You know, Don't and your, it and your barber gotta have that ill blade game to know how to connect it. Mm. You know? Yeah, you gotta have that <laughs> You gotta have that good <laughs> blade. White yeah. Jing? You want some White Jing? I don't fuck with White Jing at all, bro. <laughs> white Jing, bro. I'll be honest. I'm on that. Let me, I just want to say something. I just bring two white bottles Jean. of Duce, um, no, excuse me, Ace of Spade, Rosé, and I feel fantastic. It doesn't It doesn't take away from your taste pilot. Your it taste just, pilot? It, it just enhances it. You have a pilot it. in your taste? You don't have a pilot in your taste? Not a pilot, yes. no. <laughs> like your taste it enhances my shit. It made me more sharper. Did you see the Jada Kiss and um, Fabulous shit yeah, last night? Yeah, that shit was my... That, that, shit was shit was, that shit, man, I was... Last night, I was all in the comments with the fire and right. them two. Those were my brothers and I even just... That, that felt real fucking... Um, mm. That was so hip-hop. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When Jada was... Uh, playing and rapping on some of the beats, and then Fab, you know, playing both of them playing street records, and then mm. you know, and they 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 had so much other hits, mm. like Twenty Four Hours to Live, and all them Fab hits, mm. like they, you know, that's so much more. Mm. Um, but that's that's one of my favorite. That was like one of my. Can favorite. you help us hype him to be on verses? Nori's a legend. You know what? I, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Don't look at me crazy. What the, what the you be fuck on verses, bro. Yeah. I don't know. We didn't rehearse this question at all. Yeah, I'm not. I'm, there's no rehearsing Drink Champs questions. I like that. Uh, it's a great right, answer, listen, though. Listen, it's a great Swiss part called me. Swiss, this is a fact. Swiss called me as I'm comment, I'm sending him memes from Jada. I don't know why, because Jada's going to call me. He's going to be like, what's going on? Why you keep posting memes, right? <laughs> but I'm, that's my brother, right? So then Swiss calls me and says, yo, they keep talking about that Cam and Nori. That's your bill. Ooh, that'd be L. That'd be L. I'm waiting. That's L. That's L. Hey, listen, man, like, they celebrating you, brother. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm, this is a celebration of everything. Nah, Get your flowers, you know what I'm saying? I get my flowers every day. No, I know what I'm saying, but that's it. I said, uh, I said, um, but let me just make my statement, though, Colin. Everything that's dope in our community is dope in our community. I could be a fan of it sometimes without participating in the actual thing. If that's my choice, listen, if, if they say, yo, you with it, I'm with it then. I'll do it. So but, you're with it? Yeah, I'm with it. Okay. But if Cam says he's not with it at all, whatever... It's okay. I'm good with being a fan. Of course. Of course. I'm good course. with watching verses all day. Yeah. Like, I couldn't believe how much I was a fan of um, Bounty Killer. Oh, Ooh, yeah. that Beanie. was one of the best ones. Like, I, I couldn't believe it. Like, classic. I was like, yo, when I looked on, I was like, nah, they killed I got that about right seven there. minutes that's, here. That's classic. And that I was, was there 70 that, that, minutes later. That one, yeah. Bounty, Beanie, Fab, and Jada. Um, Cause they're together. My favorite. Is you think? Is you think that's your favorite because they're together? I mean, all of them were incredible. Obviously, you know what I'm saying because you know. Right. But um, um, they my fa that Those were my two favorite. Probably because there's two recent ones. But to my butt, it just was. They were together, and it was like yeah, it's different. It was when done together, like yeah. it was done like like how it's supposed to be done. Meaning as in as far as turntables and a mic. Yeah. And playing playing the catalog, they would they didn't just sit there. They actually they took time. For the fans and give them a little more yeah. than just playing the record, and they didn't have to do that. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm gonna be honest with you. I have to give it to a, 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 a Bounty and Beanie. What yeah, that's it? classic. Yeah. Because the way they did it, no, that's real. No, they they, they, the they, real they deal. said it. That's the dance hall. That's like yeah, hey, explain can, explain the can, difference. Explain the because difference because that's how us. they really do yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Like you go on a show, 
Uh-huh. Them two would really battle just like that. And they did. And they, they originally did. And, yeah, of course. They originally had a about battle. They did it the nice way yeah. on Versus. Oh. They used to do it yeah. in a different way. But in front they of each other? They used to not be cool. Yes. They used to not wow. be cool. We're talking about and crews behind, everybody's crew yeah. behind each other, ready. Yeah. That shit used, yeah. To, be, that shit used to be serious before. I was on them stages. I've been uh, uh, to most of them shit. That's why that shit is beautiful right now. Wow. Oh, no, no. She used to be real deal. Yeah. Wow. Not saying it wasn't real deal that I'm talking about, but you know that really at one point. Well, that's what made it so special that they had that back, that, yeah, that history, no, and they brothers, and then and they, they together now, and this is all love. Yeah. But but besides that, they, that's how they really perform. Yeah. Mm. You know what I'm saying? With the rhythm and and um, that's just it's special. Love uh, Jamaica dancehall. That sent me for life. That was incredible. Who would you like to see on the verses? Um. I feel like you and Fat Joe taking the same stance. Now, y'all don't, I, I, y'all ain't I, battling I, versus. I, I, so. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm not even going to you who you I wouldn't battle now. I don't even consider it a battle. It's a celebration because it, it is, is definitely a celebration. A celebration. Yes. I wouldn't, I, me, I'd do it probably like like when I'm 20 years, like right now I'm, I'm working on the 12th album, right? I think it's probably what, um, so t- I would say, you know how everybody has their 20 year anniversary? Right. right. Like Bad Boy 20 years or. Right. Uh, you know, war report. Right. You know, saying yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I want to do it then. Like, I think I would do it when I'm like 50. Okay, so let's take you out of no, the. No, I'm crazy. saying that. I'm saying, but the reason why is because I just think it's great to remind people your catalog, right. and it'd be dope. You know, what I'm saying to get your flowers and so, amongst so, your peers. You yeah. know? So take you out there, crazy. Mm-hmm. As a fan, who would I who want? Would you want to see? And you know what? I'm I'm mm. I'm sorry. I'm giving you a two part question because of your love for reggae. I would like to hear your your, your oh, reggae. If it was reggae, I want to see. Sizzler and Capleton. Woo! That's going to be too legendary. Um, I would love to see Buju and Shaba. Yeah, I was about to say Shaba. I would love to see, um, it, you know, those two are like powerful. Okay, now hip hop. In hip hop, um, and again, I'm not saying these guys battling. This is a celebration talk. It's a celebration. These are icons. You give us their wish list. These are legends. I don't want, you know what I'm saying? We, we're know, not asking no, about no, you personally. The reason why I say that is because we battled our whole life. Mm. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Great answer. We battled. Oh, I, oh. I mean, you know how I used to DJ. I, right. I was battle mentality my whole career. Wow. DJing oh. wise. You know what I'm saying? Like, but, you know, right now we celebrating and we, 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 we work this hard to get here to not have to battle. Mm. Right. You know what I'm saying? But that's when you become great. Right. You know what I'm saying? But um, hip-hop wise, who would I want to see? I would like to see um obviously who wouldn't want to see the Puff and Dre? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's legendary. Um Wait, what did you say? Puff, Puff and, and Dre. Dre. Yeah, Puff That'd and Dre. Be, uh, you know, I know, I know they were talking about it. Oh, I didn't That'd be know crazy. That. Yeah, they were talking about it. You know what I'm saying? That would happen, that'd be dope. You know what I'm saying? Just because those are two massive catalogs. Um I would like to see. Nas, Nas, man, y'all trying to. Uh, he only got one <laughs> challenge. Leave Nas out of this. Yeah, yeah, nah. Uh, you know, a Queens nigga, you got to leave him out of this. I mean, you know, going against Nas would be. I'm talking about whoever decides, whoever decides to celebrate against Nas. That's that's Nas dangerous. And Snoop. It's not no, a lot of people. No, that's celebrate. Right, that's, a, that's a dangerous. I'm gonna take a stand. Place here. to go. Why? Nas, 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 Nas and Snoop can Bill. Nas can play every song, album cut, and it's a classic. Not to me. I'm just saying that would be a ill celebration. No, no, it would be beautiful. I'm saying I wouldn't. Yeah, but I would um, turn. Burrow, relax, buddy. Burrow is. Man, I'm going to be real with you. I, what I love about the verses is me not trying to pair somebody. Like when y'all announced, when they announced Jada and Fab, I didn't expect that at that time. Right. And I was excited when I seen the jersey and it said but, Fab and but Jada. But why do you expect it? Because. No, I expect that pair up, but mm. I wasn't thinking at that time to do it. I didn't think so that So I felt good when it came. Organically wow. to the table, right. wow. so that's, I kind of like leaving it like that's that. Real. And you didn't have time to prep. It was just like, oh, yeah, this is I'd dope. I like to see, you know, this guy done doing Alicia Keys and right. John Legend. Yeah, bro, oh, we got Fab and Jada. Yeah. Oh shit! That you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like we were just excited about that. Now we're excited about this. Right. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Oh man, I, I I wouldn't rec- recommend nobody doing that. Drake against anybody. Yeah, Drake. Drake. Drake got a verse a whole coast. Yeah, Drake is incredible. Good. Drake against Quincy Jones. <laughs> no, I got to run got to DJ Khaled against Quincy Jones. Ooh, I gotta nice. run no, I'm, we got to run But you know, you, you hold on, because let me, let me, you know what, I, I, I'm not going to go there. 
But I just want you to know, you are leaning towards the Quincy Jones of our generation. Man, that's a big, I'm, big up. Um, I'm just being honest with you. I'm sorry. No, I, I know pre- you're I pre- a humble I'm a, guy. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a super student of Quincy Jones. I'm just happy that I have a relationship with him. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It goes all. back to, um, you know, like Hove. Mm. You know, knowing somebody I've been a fan of all my life, Nas mm. and... You know, Puff, and these are people that I've fanned, Dre, and I have a relationship with these people, mm. and now they're, like, considered me as brothers. Not, mm. like, industry brothers. No, forget no. the music. We, yeah. we talk about our kids. We have dinner. We have we're family. We work together. Yeah. We get money together. We, we, we team. Um, Beautiful shit. So me being a student of Quincy Jones, but I was so excited when I got to meet him mm. and be able to pick up the phone and go to his house anytime I call mm. to hang That's out crazy, with him or, or get some keys from him or knowledge. He got the best wine in the world. Oh, no, he's incredible. He got the best stories, and he, and he's like, um, it's like he's been part of every... Generation. Generation. Yeah. You see his house, he got pictures with everyone. Besides, like, Michael Jackson, right, the, the artist, artist right. we're talking about, like... Jackson 5. We for, not, forget just the artist. We're talking, about, every you know, every, yeah. we're talking about every... We're talking about anything, like... Yeah. I damn near think that everybody's he's, touched. He's not human. <laughs> yeah. So 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 can he's I... been here forever. It's like a beautiful thing. Like like, and his stories are so incredible. So Colin, wow. Can Story. I reiterate my question? What's that? Because I didn't know it was a question. I thought it was showing love. What it was a that? statement. Okay, what happened? Gonna, but I'm gonna reiterate. It was the a statement. question, man. You are Quincy Jones, man. I, 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 I'm, I'm a There's student. no artist. No, 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 no. You got to relax. You got to take no, your no, flowers. No, no, no. I appreciate it, but you I'm gotta a student. You got to take your flowers. No, no, no. I got I to gotta stop you, bro. I, 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 I can stop. say No, no, no. You are Quincy Jones. How the way Quincy put, we are the world. Man. You put, we are the No, we, you know. On the street, sellers, uh, you did the you know, same you, shit. You, you know, I definitely somebody that put people in the room together. Um, and I put people in the room together that would never be in the room together with. Mm. Um, Jay-Z I def- and Future. I definitely, I mean, just a lot of artists. It doesn't have to be, it can be, um, you know, you got to understand when you work, when, when you just work with. Just to be with Little Wayne. When you work with Khaled. Migos. When you work with Khaled, I feel like everybody takes, and when I say this, I mean this in a positive way. We take, even me, we take all our egos away right. and make music. Mm-hmm. When you collaborate, you know what I'm saying? And, um. I've been blessed to make some big collaborations in my career. But also, besides making the music, I've been blessed just to be in a room, mm. to be a sponge mm. of, artists. like, people that I dreamed and been a fan to meet. You know what I'm wow. saying? So, like, um, like, when you brought up Quincy Jones, that guy is, like, is In other words, one. you are a version of Quincy Jones. God damn it. Yeah, God damn it. We're giving you that title, man. I, I, I see you so humble you trying I, I, to avoid I'm a, it. I'm a, I'm a student. I don't, you know what I'm saying? No, That's no. the last thing I want somebody to say. Khaled thing, he, you know, it's... No, I'm, why I'm wouldn't Khaled. we? I'm Khaled. You know what I'm so, saying? Well, why wouldn't we? The no, thing no, is, I appreciate hold that. Hold on. You, 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 you speaking from an old generation of hip-hop. We coming from a generation, we want to big up our versions of hip-hop. We want to make our versions the same versions of whatever the fuck it is. And you know what? If we looking at you like Quincy Jones, fuck it. No, Accept it until somebody can tell us we liars. Right. And guess what? I don't think they can tell us. I don't think they can tell us we liars, bro. I don't think anybody anybody can tell us we liars. All right, make some fucking noise, bro. Hey. And you continuing to do it. Thank you. Which is which is so which is so beautiful. That's the reason why. Now moving on. What was the discrepancy with you and Joe Button? Was there a discrepancy? No, nah, I don't have a problem with Joe Button. I mean, okay. you know, Joe Button is Joe Button. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Um, yeah. His job is, is, um, you know, I think when he was, when he did speak on my name, because you know, what's weird about Joe Button is he showed me love. Right. He'll show me love in person. Like, in, no, not just in person. He shows me love. Yes, mm-hmm. but I'm talking about even on his shows, he showed me love. I can't right. take away. When he shows love, but then he'll, he'll. I mean, I guess throw darts or diss me. But when he does diss me or throw darts, um, he's misinformed. Mm. He's, um, you know, doesn't have facts. Mm. And 
you know, I come from a, I come from a, a cloth, you know, I'm not going to speak on nothing unless I'm ready to speak on that. And I know what I'm speaking on. Mm. And you got to know before you speak, mm. you know, you got to know what you're speaking. You know what I'm saying? I just think that's just as a, as a human being, a man of respect, you know, you can easily call me and ask me a question. All right. Um, if you can't get a hold of me, you know what I'm saying, you you know, like you get not a problem. You know what I'm saying? But, about, but at the end of the day, is like, um, and you know, what he does on the show is his business. God bless him and God yeah. bless his success. And yeah. I hope he makes trillions of dollars of doing what he does. I, I, I want everybody to be rich forever. Ross voice, rich forever. You know what I'm saying? Forever. Um, Beautiful. But, you know, he shows me love, and some days he don't. Mm. He right. shows me love. And some days he don't. And, you know, I can't sit there and lie to you and say I watch a show like that, but when my name is being spoken, I guess it, it spikes up. Not talking about on social media. So mm -hmm. if you tag my name, I'll see it. You know what I'm saying? Right. So that's how I usually get to hear clips. And then I'll be like, oh, why he even, how my name even coming up? Unless right. it's about something, you know, love, because that's all I promote. And that, forget just promoting, that's all I live by. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I don't know. I mean, is this something you know I don't know? I mean, no, nah, I don't know shit. I just was asking. <laughs> no, I'm saying. The internet was asking. I got, the I, thing about the it is when we do, when we do an interview, right, Kyle? Let me just be clear with you. When we do an interview, what I do is I go to Twitter. And when yeah. I go to Twitter, because I, I wouldn't have went to Twitter with you because I wanted to keep our interview top secret. But when I went to Twitter after... I was like, yo, I got a, a guest coming up. And they was like, motherfucker, we know the guest coming up. We got Kyle. Boom. So they just asked, yo, is there a problem with him and Joe? I don't know what it was. I don't I have absolutely no idea what it was. No, no, no. I mean, I, I mean, oh, like I said, is. like I said, I can't have a problem with somebody that I really don't know. Right. You know what I'm saying? Do Beautiful. I know do I know Button? Yes, I know him. Oh. Have I been in rooms with him and talked to him and we show each other love? You know what I mean? I know him for a long time. You right. know what I'm saying? But I don't know you enough to diss you. Right. You know what I'm None saying? And I'm not saying he might not think he dissed me. You know what I'm saying? He might think he's just doing his podcast. Right. You know what I'm saying? Me, I come from a different cloth. Yeah. Period. You know what I'm saying? I don't, some shit I just don't understand. You know what I'm saying? Because I be saying to myself, when I do that, that's how I look at in anything, forget podcasts, forget in life, I say, would I do that? But I got to remember, not everybody's me. That's right. You know what I'm saying? And that's something that I have to learn more. Right. I can't think everybody going to move the way I move. Um, but again, he's doing it. That's what he does for a living. But um, you got to know your facts. Mm. You know what I mean? You have to know your facts when you mm. speak. Right. You know what I mean? Because if you're speaking the truth, you know what I'm saying? You know... Shit, if I need to address something, I'll come on your show and, and look in your face. Mm -hmm. and, but I can't respect somebody that's going to, you know, not know the facts and not know the truth. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And again, um, he shows me love. Mm. I, can't, I can't say he don't. But then, you know, there's times I guess maybe he's having a bad day, a bad <laughs> mood. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Right. You know what I'm saying? But it's all love. Right. Has he ever been on um, Drink Champs? Yeah, yeah, yeah he's he, he been, he been yeah. on here once. He's been on here once. And we, we, it was great. It was great. We had his whole podcast he on here. Huh? He didn't believe the stats. Because, I mean, <laughs> and you know, I'll address, I'll address a couple of other people right now, just in case you want to, you know, relax, Kyle, and I'll, I'll take the hot I'm seat for a second. Yeah, no, I'm, I'll, I'll wait for you to come back because I was going to go in right now. So I right, wait for you to go back, but um, quick time slime. Quick time slime. We can do a quick time slime. Okay. All right. First off, we picked up um um um. The, right, so we gonna do the, what we do right now is so one minute. You got the um timer. I do a quick time of slime. It's just one or the other. One word answers. You can answer whichever way you want, and if you don't want to answer, you can say pass. Right. All right. We ready? I, hold on, I know. Hold on, let me let me think of some good shit. Cause I know Kyle is gonna pass. He's a political nigga. So I'm supposed to say, what? Big one, big guy. Out, one. He's gonna yeah, pick one. Dwayne Wade or LeBron James? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Kyle, you my brother, bro. I love you, bro. 
Just in case you don't know, I, I don't know if you are still filming, but I don't love you, Colin. I swear to God, I'm going to war with you. Thank I don't you. even know Same if you here. know that. Same here. I, hey. But I, I, I'll never call you when, Listen, uh, when uh, man, I, I, I'm, I'm that guy. No, All right, let me leave it alone. Let me leave it alone, because I'm up too. All right, listen, let's back. All right, cool. No, no. Don't worry, because I got to get my life together. All right, you ready? <laughs> <laughs> all right, cool. No, because I want to keep it, keep it. All right. All right, let's go. Finger licking or KFC? Finger licking. God damn it. Great answer. Um, Nicki Minaj or Cardi B? I have love for both of them. Great answer. I'm not going to go into depth with that. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Nas or Jay Z? I love both of them. Jeez, I knew that was the answer, and I can't pressure him anymore. <laughs> All right, Little Kim, Foxy Brown. Man, legends. Just, it's just killing me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what? Shut up. No, stop it. All right, cool. He he's throwing me off, but I'm I'm gonna give him one. I'm gonna give him one. He's gonna have to. He's gonna have to answer. All right. All right, cool. It's no more one time. It's lying. We gotta give him something. He's gonna answer. Let me let me think of this one. Is the time still going? Don't let the time go. All right, cool. Last one. Yeah. I got this one. Daddy Yankee. And well, I'm gonna have to say and well because I have a relationship with him. Mm. I don't know Daddy Yankee like that. Mm. Um, nothing but love though. Yeah, I don't no. know him personally like that. Right. I'm saying, but and well, I got to know him. Mm. And you and you had to work it with him. Um, we 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 supposed to work together. Ooh. Yeah, he 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 sent me something, but you know I'm you know I want to do something with him too. But I think we're gonna end up doing a few things. So how is it? I'm sorry, you we got that? Yeah. I feel like. All right, but how is it, like, do you work with somebody you think is hot or you work with somebody that you vibe with? I mean, uh, both. I, I work with somebody that I'm a fan of. That's hard. But I'm a fan of because... You can, a lot you, of people you, I'm a fan of, yeah, dickheads. No, no, because I could be a fan of somebody that's, that <laughs> it hasn't become You've been a fan of a, somebody yet. that's a dickhead, though. Kyle. Yeah, of course. I've, I've met people that... Just you not, meet them, not, you be like, get yeah, the fuck out Yeah, it's not my vibe, there. but I'm talking about... But um, also, when I do get a chance to work with somebody, if it's a good feeling, like, um, uh -huh. and, the, and, and the vibe is right and the energy, you know, and we get to know each other, mm. you know, it, it becomes more than music. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It might be lunch, dinner, mm. you know what I mean? Going on a vacation, mm. you know what I mean? Um, so I got to be, I want to be a fan, even if you're brand new. Right. I want to be a fan. You know what right. I mean? Because when I listen to my albums, I'm a fan too. Mm. These are all great artists on there, so I'm a fan making the music, and I just wanna I wanna have that fan feel, meaning as in loving your music and me, you know, learning you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So here's the million dollar question, right? Every this is answer every hater in the world right now. What do you mean? Let's just answer. We're gonna answer every hater in the world, right? <laughs> so the same person that is in DJ Khaled position right now. Same person is in EFM position right now. They're saying, yo, the only reason why these guys are making it happen is because they got bread. <laughs> Shit. The, the furthest from the So, did you, did you build your career from paying people? Nah. I, 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 first of all, I used to make $100 a week. We need to reiterate that. Okay? You know what I'm saying? Talk, like, talk to these people. You were telling us earlier. Yeah, like, talk to these people. Um, like... I come from sleeping in the back of a Honda Civic. Mm -hmm. You know, when I left my mother and father, don't get it twisted, when I was with my mother and father, they raised me and they took care of me like every mother and father should do. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's not about where you live. It's, it's called love. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's not about money. It's about love. Right. Right. But when I decided to move out the house at 15, right. 16, so I ain't finished high school. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Um, and I decided to move on my life with my music career. I was broke. $100 a week, slept in the back of my, um, you know, had a Honda Civic, you know. Um, then I ended up getting a BMW that I never paid for, for like, 
two, three years they were looking for her to hide. You know what I'm saying? It was a purple drum. What, blue, what color? Blue. Oh, blue. Oh, okay. Um, um, you know, getting evicted in all my apartments because my music was too loud. I couldn't afford it. Um, this is the DJ know, college I need to you know, understand about. Uh, Listen to this shit. You know, shout to uh, my brother Nasty. You know, what I mean, when I when times was super hard, you know, I had nowhere to put my equipment, my records. So he let me use his garage and set up my drum machine. So anytime I wanted to go make a tape or something or touch my equipment, I would go, um, you know, to his garage because I didn't have a garage no more. Yeah. And then, you know, I would stay at hotels, $25 hour hotels. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, shit started progressing and, you know, started making a 1000 a week. What? You know, then finally got me a nice little apartment in Miramar. You know what I'm saying? And then um, after that, started making... Two thousand a week. Speak up the house. It sounds still what I'm in Maryland. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like shout out Kendall. Um, you know, <laughs> I guess people always see your success. They never see the. They never grind, see the huh? struggle to get. They never see the struggle to Jeez. get to the I'm marathon. still grinding because if you yeah. think this is success, I look at it as a blessing. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Honest. I'm just getting started. I'll be honest. Puff took fourteen with us. We took two with you. My yeah, lucky just number took a is shot, three. Bro. You're not making me do it. My lucky number is three. I, you don't have to do this, Kyle. But. I, I ain't mean, gonna lie. You don't have to do nah, this. No, 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 no. Whatever you want me to do, my three. brother. Three. It's three. Three Let's shots, and that's it. Let's do it. That's it. That's it. Jesus Jay-Z's Christmas. Jay-Z's gonna be love with us, and you can, t- you can take it yourself. All right, Oof. cool. Jay-Z's Man, Jay-Z's. this shit. I, 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 I forget. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm forgetting. This is an interview. This shit is more like... No, this is this family <laughs> gathering. This shit is like... It's family gathering, bro. If you're gonna try what I'm nah, drinking, listen, you're I'm welcome been, can to... I, can I say yeah. something? Yeah, yes, yeah, please. please. say something, So I've bro. done interviews in my lifetime, but yeah. Nori, he is a special one. Yes, yes. Because he know how to, like, get you right. Uh. And then he... And he... he and gonna, he, he gonna get you. all the right shit. Yeah, yeah I And then he gonna it. come, but it's gonna come in, like... <laughs> and then it just... With a question, you look at him like, damn. <laughs> so you're not mad at him, but you're like, that damn. was good. <laughs> that was like, you know, you know, like Jordan, he got a certain way that, you know, even the man will can bounce and turn around and still, like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> this man Nori just came with some so much shit. And then while you're doing it, after like some shit, like a theory or something, you take a shot. And you're like, fuck it, you take a toast or some shit, you don't even know what the fuck going on. <laughs> So it's like, you stop for then you're like, yo, then everybody cool in the background laughing and shit, then you're like, oh shit, this camera's on too. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm trying to figure out what we doing. This I'm is some new shit. No, this is a new shit I'm going to Nah, you know what? Drink chunks. Woo. Oh. Because let me take over. Ah. Let me take over from there. Because you know why I call it. I'm going to be ah. honest, bro. One of the biggest people in our culture, and I, we, not just me. I'm sorry, I'm about to say I wanna. But when I say I wanna, I mean Dream Chance. We should cover every step of your fucking journey, because you know why? We proud of every step of your journey. Absolutely, yeah. And not only that, we proud of it. We knew it from there to. We knew. Listen, listen. We knew from here to there. But we want to be here. Where it's actually, you know, where we like, I'm, uh, we're in Malibu, and I told you, ah, listen, nigga, my house is right here, nigga. And you're like, ah, right, my house is right here. Like that's, but we're here with you right now. And wherever you, 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 we started or you started, but we're both together right here. Don't get me wrong. You're the biggest in the game. Man. No, no, no. no, no, no. And, and let me interject a little bit because seeing your whole journey, when when DJs and we all come from the same place, there's always going to be that competitive spirit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like the, there's the DJ. You know what? Spe- speaking of competitive, you know, early in my career, I would say, you know, it was a competitive spirit. Early, but now I I, I don't compete. I just I, no, no, but that's, no, no. I'm saying I'm glad yeah. you brought that up because the thing I was just telling that to my girl the other day. I was like, Mom, you know, I'm so happy. You know, when I'm making my music and stuff, I'm like, I'm so happy with how much we have accomplished. Right. And I think I put it on Instagram and I said, I could retire like Jay Z and Michael Jordan right now, right. and I'd be happy with everything I've accomplished and grateful for all my blessings. And I'm be very happy, like literally happy. 
but guys like me got more love and more blessings to continue to put out right. because of the love of me loving music, hip hop. You right. know what I'm saying? Loving, you know, I love this shit. You have to love this shit to really do this shit on the levels that we doing this yep. because 20 years or more. you have to really love it. You know what I'm right. saying? If you don't, I don't, re I don't recommend you doing it. Mm. You know, this shit got to come from love. You know what I'm saying? I didn't want to interrupt you, but it was crazy. I, I said I felt like I could retire yeah. like Michael... I, I said I feel like Hov and Michael Jordan. Right. I can retire and I can come back anytime I want. Mm. And that goes back to saying, you know, I always work hard to try to... Not try, going to be, and timeless. Right. You know what I'm saying? Timeless. And I'm always going to put out music that's impactful. You know what I'm saying? And, and everything outside of music, I'm going to do impactful and timeless as well. You know what I'm saying? So that's where I'm at in my life. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah. I, and that's why I say I'm a student of a Jigger and a Puff Daddy. They come back anytime they want. Mm. Know that. Right. You know what I'm saying? And know that they don't have to, but they love it so much mm. that they keep blessing us. Right. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. But, but no, but the point that I was trying to make is no, that that shit. competitive spirit that we all come from, yeah. which is a part of hip hop. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And so, and more locally, us DJs, like whether it be DJ Apps and us and, and all the yeah, DJs yeah, in Miami, we, they were doing brothers, it. brothers, but it was competitive. But what I think is so dope is that you'd be hard pressed to find someone from Miami that can't appreciate your journey. Can't That's support love. your journey. Ain't nobody. Can't. can't say that you're not repping the home team. It's love. You know what I'm saying? Right. At the end of the day, like, it would only be complete hate to not understand mm. what you've done and doing. Man, Beautiful. that's... You know what I'm saying? Man, make I some noise. Everybody, 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 everybody yeah. got to make some noise. Yeah. That means a lot. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's, 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 that's all we ask for is what he said. And, no. Um, no. And, you know... Beautiful. Because that's, 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 that's love. Yeah, no. That means a lot to me. You know, so that's, that's a sound bite for me. Right now, I seen you, know you I mean? and that's him. Some shit I'm and DJ Irie, I think. Yeah, that's a wow. yeah, no, yeah, everybody. You know, because you, you know, you know, all me see all DJ from Miami. Yeah. We man, I, I I hit craze on the um Instagram the other day. Yeah. All of us from Miami, you know what I'm saying? We rep Miami so hard because mm -hmm. we love Miami and we and that's what's so beautiful. I'm not saying other cities don't do the same, no, but I'm you know, listening. we talking because we um passionate about our hometown yep, and listening. this is our home. Um. It feels so good to, to scream 305 in Miami yeah. and, and how far we came. Respect y'all. You know what I mean? Respect nah, y'all. Day County, 305. Respect y'all. Day Miami. County, got that. You know what I'm saying? Got that, got that. Micheladas. I don't know what the fuck is that shit on your shit. Relax, buddy. <laughs> I gotta relax. <laughs> I got you, though. You're gonna get on it soon. Uh, no, eventually, one day. <laughs> but, uh, you know, so... I feel like we covered damn near everything. Yeah, we 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 definitely covered um But you got this we, single coming out. Listen, yeah, no, we got we when got is this single coming out. I don't out? know. And then that's not even bullshitting you. Like like trying to like yeah, trying to figure but out I'm like being single, next week, is a I'm Drake a big, single? Yeah, it's me and Drake. But what I was trying to tell you is um next week see, when I this told Nori the other day I wanted to do drink champs. When I dropped my single, and Nori's like, fuck that, we doing this shit. Yeah, no, we, that's, time, no, but bro. it's true, but I'm trying to tell you. You know why? Let me no, just no, 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 you have to explain. On, no, I was telling you, no, no, I really no, don't I know do what really I'm doing. I do have getting. to explain. You know why? Because I just want you to know. It's not about the singing, it's not about record. You're a fucking legend. Don't worry. This is, this <laughs> no, I'm like, what the fuck? This is your city. I'm in your yeah. city. I'm in your city. This is July 4th. It's July 4th in Miami. For them, it's June 30th. <laughs> yeah, please. Come on. Give, give me some. Give me some. <laughs> Clean yourself, brother. Oh, Clean yeah. yourself. But, uh, the reason why? Because you is the city of the party city in the world. Party capital. You are the party capital of the world. You're the godfather. No, 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 no. We, 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 we so happy we did it now. I was just telling you, you know what I'm saying, like, to answer your question, I don't know when my single's coming out. I really don't. And um, I'm grateful for when it does come out. Am I ready? Yep. I'm ready. Uh, uh. Just know that. Um, so the whole album's done? No, no, the whole album ain't done. Okay. Working on the album, single been done. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, the pandemic shift a few things around. Right. You know what I'm saying? So... Um, you know, things now, 
we can function a little more than we did two months, three months ago. Right. You know what I'm saying? We, we, two months ago, we wouldn't be at this table. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You know, we knew how to come here safe with the gloves, with the team, with the disinfector. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But two months ago, we were told we can't even do that. Right. Yeah. So now, you know, things are, you know, things were, are more functional. Now, it's, you know, it's, 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 it's close. It's near. It's coming. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Some small glove. What's that, glove? Yeah. Got more gloves, brother. Whatever you, whatever you need, bro. Got gloves for days. Got a nigga 13 gloves. It's all right, man. Get it. <laughs> we don't give a fuck, nigga. Let that nigga... Let that... Do you want another shot or no? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> <laughs> let him live, man. Let him go back to yo, his listen, family. Yo, listen, listen. <laughs> we appreciate the, the you. We, we love like you, some brother. Other shit, like, yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Every sanitizer I smell, it looks... Smells fantastic. <laughs> but is it? That's it, man. Let, let it. him go back to yeah, his family. We got, we got. Nah, 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 nah. Appreciate it. Listen, it's whatever y'all want. Nah, listen, call it, bro. I just want to know: did you did, did we get a good show? Yeah, we got a good yeah, show. Cause you know, I, I I don't get a chance to watch every single drink chance, but I do watch a lot of them. Yeah. Did we get a good show? No, we got a great yeah. show. But it's not the last so, time you've been gonna be nah, on there. But that's the problem. That's Yo, the main hold on, hold on. point. That's the problem. The problem is not about us having a good show. Listen, you're supposed to be here, Miami representing. Yeah, we're going to be here. When we get Ross back here, because you know, he, he's down there, Atlanta nigga right now. Cool. Ross everywhere. That man, you know, his hustle he's is so unbelievable. Rich. I love it. He's unbelievable. That man will. I that got man him on different other shows. Week. Don't even talk about it. I got him on different other shows. He's my <laughs> guy. I love him. He's yeah, a real one. He's a real one. Good guy. But. But we need to know, like, when you need to talk to the public, we just would suggest. We're not saying do it. This is just a suggestion. Come to your brothers Which in you? Miami. Yeah, no. Hold on, hold on. Don't, 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 don't do it. <laughs> don't do don't it, man. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm a black Puerto Rican, yo. I'm very serious. <laughs> uh, I'm going to deliver this message, God. Fat Joe already called me. I get it. I love you. I really God. Your whole family. Everybody. Nah, family. Come on. I love you. But I would like to tell you as a brother, the same thing. Nas told me this. Nas said, I can do every publication. I can do your shit. And every publication would take it. It blew me away, knowing that Nas could just do my publication. And and you know what, LA and everyone. You know, Nas, but Nas, Nas, what's so beautiful about Nas, he only does selective and he... You are, shh. <laughs> we don't want no more shots, I'm going to listen. <laughs> you are the same caliber, bro. This is the reason why... You could talk to us and you could say, yo, I don't want to or I don't want to. You know what it is, Nori? You know what, you know what it is? Um, the way I came up, and you know why a lot of people, you know, love me and respect me besides the fans, like the game, is because I never forget where I come from. Yes. Um, and I always do, you know, like certain radio. You know, because I come from radio. Right. You know, um, I always do certain TV because I remember when they wouldn't let me on those platforms and some of them did and took the chance. Respectful. You know what I'm saying? So I always got to remember that. Yes. So I try to do everybody as much as I can. Mm -hmm. And I, if I do, I want to do it, not just to do it, I want to do it to inspire the young world and leave a beautiful message out there. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So you always do. You know, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm always, you know, try my hardest to do that, um, because these the game has changed. Uh, going back to social media, like you mm. know, they are going to take so I many saw, clips I, from this I, show. I, and the thing honest, is that I, I hope respect. they take the clips and know out of this show today that we meant love about everything we talked about. Absolutely. Yes, and, you and you if they don't, it? I don't know what to tell you because yeah, we love it. you. 
You know what? You know what I'll tell you? And I love you. I love you, fan. I love you, Sam. Everything you said is great. And I love you for saying it. But you know what I want to tell you? The other part about that conversation is fuck these things. All the motherfuckers. The thing about it is, we love you. Yeah, man, you love this shit, right? We love you. Listen, you love listen, 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 listen. I'm gonna be honest. You're, you're the most <laughs> political guy. We he love you. He's a like a cowboy. Uh, I know listen. how it is. He's like, yeah. my man, about to go. What can listen, I do, listen. my man? We love you, God. Listen, we love you. No matter now which I'm way you, you come, a black jacket, a gray jacket, a white jacket, we don't give a fuck. Nah, we nah, love Carla, right? Thank you, man. But at the end of the day. Sometimes you just got to just walk in here and just... And now, just now, now, I know the... Uh, I never said the invitation has never been there. We did our first one. It's right. great to know that the invitation is still there. Yeah. And, you okay. know what I'm saying, if we want to, you know what I'm saying, like, that's a beauty. You know, we never want to... No, no, just we, we love you, Kyle. That's what we're trying love, to say. You know? That's but what I'm trying you. to say. You know what I'm saying? Thank you so much. We're trying to say we love you. And when you when you in Dream Champs atmosphere, when you ever... Have that funny moment where you just want to talk. Oh, for sure. Don't go to New York. No, no, for sure. But don't I, go to I, Allen. No, but I, I just want you to know. Don't go to New York. Don't I know, go to Allen. No, I want you to know this. But if we get an opportunity and somebody asks us and we end up doing other shows, I don't want you thinking, oh, wait. No, we don't give a fuck. No, 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 no. no. I'm saying, it, and it goes back to the point because I'm going to be real with you. Yes. Please be real. I'm at a point right now, like. You're the biggest in the no, game. No, it's not even that. It's just I'm at a point where it's like. I mean this in a humble way, man. Please. I feel like Michael Jordan. I feel like Hope. You should be, you should be no, no, feeling no, like Michael Jordan. No, 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 not, not like I'm talking about like. And I'm a Marvin no, Shard. Like, 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 we are Marvin Shard. No, it's not, no, but it's not about the shows. It's about like, I swear to you, I'm so grateful for everything I've done and I'm happy with it. You know what I'm saying? fucking happy for the, you. The, the old coward five years ago would be. We gotta do this, we gotta do that, we gotta do that, we gotta do this, we gotta do that, we gotta do that, we gotta do that, we gotta do that, we gotta do that. And no. And we love the people that want us to do it. But we also gotta do it. You know what I'm saying? I'm just telling myself, when we need to speak and speak this love, let's do it. And that's what we're doing today. We had drink chain. It might have took us a long time to get here, but I feel like it's the right time. We're here. That's it. We're here. I feel like it's the right time. We're here. But but I gotta reiterate <laughs> because I'm a real nigga. Not only this is the right time. This should be your anytime you want to beef, cop. Look look look. Now I ain't got no beef with nobody. No, we're not saying beef. But anytime you want to express your opinion, why go outside? Of, why go to like I don't know. Sometimes you be going to people crazy. You got Ellen DeGeneres. I said that earlier, right? I've only been I, there one time. Yeah, but I, you know, I had to. Now she hasn't asked me to go back again. Stop bringing up Ellen DeGeneres, no, man. I would like him to bring that up. I would like him to bring that up. She no, hasn't asked me. Like, what what happened? Why? No, 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 nothing. No, no, no. We had an amazing show. It was actually a classic <laughs> that's show. That's it, one time. No, it was bro. a classic <laughs> show. I'm just answering your question because you keep bringing that one name yeah, up. I've only been there one time. Because I love you and your whole family. <laughs> I think Noe wants to be on Ellen DeGeneres. Yeah. No, I don't want to be. I want to be with her. We we won the Momo right. Award. Yo, listen, has, oh, hold on. Yeah. Yes. Matter of fact, we beat them. Edwin, come on, drink. Let's champ. get drink champs on yeah. this show. Woo. I'm sorry, no, no, it ain't gonna do it. No, Alan. no, but no, you, no. Should, you should go on there, yo, Alan. Let's no, get drink about no. this. Because no, what you're doing is ground breaking. Alan, talk, let's get drink champs, Nori EFN on. Your show. Or have Ellen on Drink Chance. Oh, that'd be nice. That would be yeah. incredible. I would like that's that. Right. No, we want Ellen on Drink Chance. That would be crazy. incredible. That'd be crazy. Yeah. Her taking shots and all that? Yeah, she, yeah, yeah. And she'll do it. She'll she'll go in. That'd be crazy. <laughs> the college is a real nigga. But, ah, oh, Jesus, damn. He fucked my whole question up. <laughs> <laughs> I had a whole different question at this point. Yeah, you want to... No, let this man go back to his family, man. Yeah, no, it's all love. Listen, college. Let me be honest. He did it. He did it. Thank, thanks, thanks, really, Sonny. He did it. No, <laughs> we really love you, Kyle. Man, this, you. Is, this is in case you don't know if what was happening. We're your whole other crew, the Secret Society. <laughs> <laughs> like you know, there's niggas that got you know when when anybody got beef, you, you know, so there's, crazy. There's you know, secret so niggas that got yeah, your society yeah. and like they would stab the whole neighborhood for you. 
and the you are here, the neighborhood. <laughs> yes, you when this, and you are in here with the, the secret society yeah. stabber. Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about, man? Listen, if somebody front on college, guys, you know, guys in you this know. neighborhood. We stabbing everybody. <laughs> and I'm just saying that because it might sound racist because no, we all no. Latino. Guys, you don't We're mean We're all that. Latino. Listen, if a nigga from college, we listen, stabbing everybody. He doesn't right, mean I'm it. So he just saying, he, just, he means that in a different way. He's just saying that. Everyone knows. He, he just loves me and I love him. That's just okay. what he means. No, we all love you, not just me. I didn't hear any hate. What? I don't know. Everyone what I loves Khaled, bro. <laughs> I think this episode is like everyone loves Raymond, but everyone loves Colin. Can we I, roll I, I with like that? that I, I, I everyone accept, loves I Colin. All love at all times. Come on, make some noise. Make some noise for that. Yeah. Well, we wanted to let you know. Holy shit! If I if I got more of this, I'm a legend. <laughs> I am Damn, not a legend at all. You really go in. I am not. No, no you going hard, right? Yeah. Listen, but you know what? We proud of you. Everything you did, we proud of you. You keep going. Yeah. So, no, we ain't stopping. That one thing I can promise you, mm. we not stopping. And um, it's just I got a lot more to do. You know what I'm saying? I got a lot more to do. And right now, like I said earlier in this, this great conversations we having is that... Um, it's only right for me to level it up even more. Mm. You know, there's levels of this shit. And each key leads to the next key. And like, I'll be crazy not to level up even more because I'm about to level up even more. I swear to you, I got some shit planned. Because lack so of a better gonna take term. It's going to a lot of work. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be real with you. Yeah, please be real with me. Because lack know, of a better term, you like the Puff Daddy of 2020. It's you now. Man, I appreciate that. You got the juice. I'm a, I'm a student. A puff too, but I appreciate that. And no, and, no, um, no. But you got the juice now, Holmes. Man, that's some talk. That's that talk. It's that talk. Like that's if that I want to hit record, I don't want to make music anymore. But there's no you know, one we, else I will go to if I want to nah, hit. Nah, you know, in 2020, um, I go to you, bro. No, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna continue putting hits out. We also gonna be doing movies. Mm. You know what I'm saying? We also gonna be putting out a lot of new products. Mm. Um, we're gonna open more restaurants. Mm. Mm. Um, we're buying it. a lot more property. Mm. Um, we selling property. Mm. Um, you know, we're gonna continue being a great family man, and 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 everything you see me do, just know I'm doing it for my kids. Mm. You know what I'm saying, which I know you do it for your kids, and I know you do it for your kids, and mm. you know what that is. Um, and that's why we're so passionate about everything we do. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I tell everybody out there that don't have kids, and you meet somebody with kids, please. Overstand this passion that is coming from us. Right. You know that's why we don't we don't we don't. It's not. It's, it's, we listen in life. It's my man. He, he don't. It, 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 he been fucking bitches for years. His kids don't work. So I wanted to tell him his kids don't work. I'm sorry. Kyle. Yeah, but in, in life, he was supposed to turn it's around. simple. In life, it's simple. <laughs> you choose either good or evil. Mm. We choose good. Mm. Let's choose good. That's it. Easy. Good, I feel like at no way we can keep it going. I feel like that's it. Take out the picture. Let's, Let's take out the, the picture. Let's take the picture. All right. Put on the mask. I've been putting on so many. <laughs>